Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome guys, how are you doing? Happy Monday. I hope you're having a great start to the week. I hope you guys uh, uh, um, had a wonderful weekend. <laughs> good day to you wherever you are. I hope you're in good health. I hope you're at peace and you have joy in your soul. Eh? Guys, today I we said, let me come and uh, see. Let me come and let us come and discuss this issue today. Hmm? Adaya, Adaya, now you be the first to comment on my channel. Hey, on this particular episode. Eh, Adaya, long time. How are you? Wow, woo. You are my first commenter. Hey, yay. If I say I clap for you now, I will clap. Can you guys hear me? Please let me know if you can hear me. Eh, sometimes this audio can be tricky. Yay! Neka, Neka, how now? Long time. Oh my God. Neka, how body? How now? So good to see you. Whoa. Chidima, oh, yeah. Welcome. You guys are my first. Hello. People say that they just have fish send champagne now. Or send that. I send virtual champagne to all of you now. Titi Layo, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome on board. You know, I had this, um, I've been thinking about this topic, but I was like, I would come, I would schedule it on the show. I was thinking, and then somebody sent me a video, a quick video about this. I said, ah, what do you think? Hey, so I said, okay, yeah, highly favored. Good to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Many greetings to all of you. I salute you. Each and every one of you, I'm sending you virtual hugs, blowing all the kisses. <laughs> no wahala neka. I get it. That's fine. Take your time whenever you're ready. That's cool. Yes. Eh? So my people, somebody now sent me a video to crown everything up about this topic that we're about to discuss. I was like, wow. It looks like a... <laughs> I was thinking about it, and wow, this suddenly I got a message. Somebody sent me a video. So this subject of pressure, a lot of people are feeling the pressure. I know say many of us don't go through that pressure, so we know. Most of us can say one or two things about pressure. Eh? So well, let me share my let me share my link so that we can talk about this. Nobody let me go talk this one. I want to hear everybody's perspective on this matter. I be more than like go. Let me let me pin. Um, eh? So guys, what you not think? Pressure inside on top to marry, to marry, to marry. Eh? Let's break the granite today. Let's talk about it. Let's get to the bottom of this. Hmm? Pressure, left, right, and center. Society pressure, parental pressure, friend pressure, family pressure, distant relative pressure, uh, peer pressure, um, everything. Everybody's pressuring. pressure, And the pressure seems to be higher for women. Why Why we say now women, and they get the most pressure? I'm not saying that men don't do. Some men, yes. But most of the time, the weight falls on the women. So let me quickly share the video that somebody sent to me, and then we can talk about this. It's uh, it's about this. It's this lady that did it. And uh, I don't want to give her the fame, but. <laughs> can you hear? Please let me know if you can hear. Let me start this again. Let me know if you can hear the video. Can you guys hear the video? When I played it now, did you guys hear? I want to get a yes before I start it over. Mm -hmm. 
Can you guys hear? Are they here? No? Okay. Let me play it and then. Projection. That's the only power a lot of men have. Marriage. <laughs> they project it to you. And make you feel less of yourself. How come if these men don't want this marriage, they always remind you that you are not married? Who do they want you to marry? Yeah. They want you to marry them and come and take care of them. They want you to marry them and come and reduce the responsibilities of their neck. They want you to marry them and come and take care of their parents. They want you to marry them and come and support them. They want you to marry them for help. So they will continue to project themselves to you just to make you feel like you need them. Why am I saying this? I'm talking to you, that beautiful woman who is not ready for marriage. Who do not understand what marriage is about. But you are being pressured to marry. When you get into the marriage, this man will not still treat you right. He wants to treat you like a wife. The reason why he is projecting marriage to you is not because he wants to treat you right. right? It's because he wants to use you. He wants to abuse you. He wants to intimidate you. He wants to use you to showcase his mind and his power. He's not telling you to marry because he wants to love you. He's not telling you to go and get married because he wants to treat you like a woman and love you like a wife. He's telling you to go and get married so that you can be powerful enough to keep projecting himself to you. I'm saying this to that beautiful woman that is not ready for marriage. You know you're not ready for marriage. You don't understand what marriage is about. But let me tell you. Go and marry. You never marry. You don't reach 30. You don't reach 40. You never marry. You don't end. I understand. But the truth is, if you do not take your time and marry right, that man will be to hold A lot of men just want to marry you to punish you. A lot of men just want to marry you to suffer you. A lot of men just want to marry you to subdue you. A lot of men just want to marry you to feel powerful. Yes. The only thing that makes a lot of men feel powerful are their women. How much they can subject them, abuse them, insult them. That's where their power is. A lot of men do not understand what it takes to be a man. Most of these men, they just use women to project their fears, their insecurity. Don't be a victim. If you must get married, make sure you understand everything about marriage. Make sure you take your time to understand the person you are getting married to. Make sure you take your time to pay attention to the red flag and be present. These are the excesses you want to tolerate for the rest of your life. Stop allowing this noise of come marry, come marry, come marry. Make you rush into marriage because you will not stay in the marriage. You will still come out. So, this is an advice for you to take your time and have an understanding of what marriage is before you get. If you don't have an understanding of what marriage is and you rush into marriage just because one man, one unknown gun man, is protecting marriage to you. Or somebody on social media say you are very good, or one of your neighbor, one of your colleague, one of your relation, somebody is so dead because of marriage, you can't use vets, one go marry, one come show them say you feel married. Go window. This is talking. You go window because that person you're getting married to, you don't know their motive. Marriage is not a joke. So people will marry you and suffer you. So people will marry you and shatter you. So people will marry you and create your destiny. Some of you have damaged just because of marriage. Some people end your destiny just by marrying them. Pay attention. And stop listening to projection. When a man begins to project himself to you, he simply means you're powerful as a woman. Sometimes they are wondering, how can this beautiful, powerful woman, successful woman, still be single? How come no man is controlling them? They are not looking at love. They are looking at control. They can't imagine that you have the freedom that you have to do what you want to do, to where you want to go, to do where you want to be. So each time they see you looking beautiful, living your best life, all they are looking at is projection. So these people, they work on it. No man, they control you. No man, they manipulate them. She just they enjoy herself. That's what they are looking at. It's not love. So when you see men project marriage to you, that is not love. And a man who truly loves you will not project marriage to you because he understands that marriage is partnership. Marriage is the both of you that are equal coming together in commitment to be able to build something for yourself. You will not see it as people. When a man begins to project marriage to you, it simply means that he's helping you. It simply means that he's doing you a favor. No, that's not love. 
that's not how it's supposed to be. When they begin to project marriage, simply means you are powerful as a woman. Don't feel less of yourself. Men do not project marriage to women who are nobody. They project marriage to successful, powerful women who have been able to do something good for themselves. They will not want to project marriage to the desperate one in the street looking for man. They always project marriage to women who have made something out of their life. They'll come and tell you, I am tea. No matter the amount of money where you get, you need a man in your life. Projection. They need you in their life. They need you to come and rip your success on them. They need you to come and help them. When you see a man sounding that way, know that you are powerful. Do not be less of yourself. In fact, adjust your crown and begin to be patient. Let it work it until you find what you deserve. In fact, the reason why you walk to the level that you are to become successful is so that you can sell it, not so that you can settle for less. When you begin to understand this, you would not settle for less. You are telling me, I will. Money. And we begin to surprise myself. I didn't work so settle for rubbish. I work so hard to settle for the best. I'm working so hard so that I can select, so that I can place myself in a certain place. Stop letting people subdue you into stupid marriage, into stupid bunch of men who do not know their left to their right. Just because you're a successful woman, you come and hang one liability called a man on your neck. Just because you're looking for money, you're looking for projection. And uh, that's man. And uh, a woman cannot be anything. They will not respect you in society. Let me tell you something. Both of you understand you end respect. Whether you're married or single and you don't end respect, you disrespect yourself. You don't disrespect you. If you want people to respect you, be the legacy of yourself. If you want people to respect you, be successful. It has nothing to do with marriage. Marriage is just a personal achievement. Marriage is your personal happiness because when you are married, it doesn't affect me. What affects me most are the things that you can, you can give me, the things you can contribute to my life, not your husband or your wife. When you begin to understand this, you know that we don't give a damn about who you marry. We give a damn about what you can offer us. So marriage is your personal achievement. Marriage is your personal happiness. Marriage is your personal excitement. It does not consign society. What consigns society is what you can contribute to society. That's the reason why a lot of people are married are still useless. A lot of single people are more productive than a lot of married people. Marriage does not give you respect. You earn respect by respecting yourself. Small boys who just want to use you to be successful. As small, small boys with man who just want to come and rob of your success. Be patient. The right man is going to come into your life. And when the right man comes into your life, he will not project marriage to you. He's going to project love. He's going to project the future. You can't wait to treat you like a queen. You can't wait to be able to do things that you have grown. You can't wait for the both of you to grow together. You can't wait. Oh God, when you see a real man, you will know. Not all the small, small boys with money who try to love them. You have to make very good. You will begin to have to block the point of serving man. It's just to do that thing things between their legs. Wait for a real man. A real man is a man who is willing to carry responsibility. A man who is willing to provide and love you. Wait. Don't rush. Accept A warm meal. Okay. Some fresh fruit. All right. So. Now don't hear a mo, no be me talk a mo. Mm. No be my mouth, to, no be my voice. Gracious greatness. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You're always supporting me. Thank you so much. Eh, I do. How you did now? Long time, oh. Gracious greatness. I haven't seen you in a while. How you did? Eh, as for you, you will marry. If I go marry, I won't marry. So I go, I go quality the lady life. Now, so my brother. Um, hey, Mirabel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for your contribution. So, ah, 
uh, gracious greatness waiting happen for 2022. Now, wow, I don't tire for this one, though. <laughs> I beg, can somebody stop this motto? I won't come out. I don't want to remain inside again. <laughs> oh, my God. I did feel you. I did feel you. Mm. So, my people, Ororeo, now the matter with it. So, we could come, we could not enter, we could discuss this matter. Eh? So, as soon as I don't hear her from her mouth, to it will be me talking, now she talking. The part where she did something, there's a particular part that I think I uh, she made that a point she made that I don't necessarily agree with when she say marry a man that will be responsible, okay, that will carry your responsibility or something like that. I don't support that. I beg, that's like becoming like a charity case for a man. Responsible as per what? You know what I mean? Like responsible as per which responsibility won't carry. You know, I don't like that language. I, I, I take, I take, pref I do not, I don't agree with that, that part that she said. Uh, some of the things she said about, you know, marrying a man, she also mentioned something about marrying a man who, um, what's it called? I think it's, she said, who, marry, who has money or something like that. I don't know about that. That's like you're searching, you're looking for someone, material wealth. Material wealth is not the only thing. In as much as, yes, we know that money is needed to take care of the necessities of life, right? We, you and I know that. But is money enough to make the love, to sustain the love that you have, you know? I mean, anybody can want what they want to. You can want a man with all the money. There's nothing wrong with it. You can aspire. To have a, someone who's very rich, who has a, all the finer things in life and all of that, but which each person comes their own disadvantages too. So you have to weigh what's most important to you. Sometimes you have a, a very rich man, but his character stinks, his integrity stinks. So you have to make a choice because you like money so much, so you choose the money and put up with the, bull, the BS that comes with it. So. You know, it's all, everybody wants what they want, but be ready to stick with what you want. Be ready to stand by it, you know, and say, and if it means you have to wait forever, hey, wait forever for whatever it is you want. Nothing stops you from waiting, you know? So I understand what she means uh, when she talks about, because the, 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 um, the pressure is a lot especially from where we're coming from. The pressure, heavy, where we're, where they're putting pressure on you. Look at you, all your mates are married. They don't born finish you. When you go start with the born, nobody to take care of you in your old age. And this is how you're going to be living your life. You don't have anybody. This is how you're going to grow old and you'll be lonely till forever. You know, it's almost like they get, they're trying to make you accept it and just choose anything just because you need to have all these things. I don't agree with that, you know? Like she said, I agree with her when she says, marry, take your time and marry somebody. Marry correctly. That part, I agree with her. Most times, people know they wait because of the pressure. And I don't feel blame them. The pressure, when the pressure will come, some people know they feel hunger pressure, especially from family. They know they fit. So anybody that comes, they will just grab their copy, as they say. As long as the person is a man, they will just manage it, sha. just go with the person. And then whatever they take, they see inside, the family will be telling them, ah, that's how life is. So you have to manage, oh, you have to do this, so you have to do that, you know. So I don't know. It, this is my own take. This is my own take for now. So you guys should come. Let's talk about this matter. Who's going to come and co-host with me today? Are they wait for now? I am waiting for co-hosters. Those that will come and co-host. Because we have to we have to talk about this matter as much as possible. And there was another, I mean, she was talking about, you know, some people marry you because they see, that part is true. 
some people marry, some people get married and it's almost like they become a shadow of themselves. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've, I have, I've known classmates, you know, people I grew up with were, were, that were married. And when I saw them a few years later, I couldn't remember, I couldn't recognize them. They look like a shadow of themselves. You know, they look so unkempt, you know, so untidy, you know. It's almost like life has been sucked out of them. And you begin to wonder, I, I thought this person was married. What's going on here? You understand? Yay! Oh, Jemwa, welcome. Good to see you here, sister. Oh, by the way, um, I hope you were not, you know, say uh, that the last um, life we did, OJ, you know, Mirabel was going at you. I hope so, you know, Vex, so I beg. Mirabel, now, now, sweet girl, but she just, they like to look for trouble sometimes. That's so why she, they talk to me anyhow, too, OJ. So I beg. I also, you know, you know, take um personal, I, uh, you know. I just want to talk um because I don't know whether, I don't know if I mentioned that. Mirabel is a very sweet person, but she, they like to find trouble. I don't know. She they find my trouble sometimes. Me when I day, I go they talk. Mirabel will just talk something. Ah, I go say now, nah, wow, this Mirabel, you know. So, OJ, welcome. I appreciate you. Okay, good. Thank you. I appreciate that because I wasn't sure if I mentioned that. Yay, gracious greatness. Oh, God bless you. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you all. I appreciate you. And on our cruise, I'll be, I like that. I like your spirit, my sister. I appreciate you. You know, so it is true. Some people will marry, they will become like shadow of themselves. You'll come the one that say, ah, this person got married. When look at how they are looking clumsy, unkempt, you know, you, you can't even recognize them. I've seen that. And I've also known people who were brilliant, most, one of the most brilliant people that I know. And then they get married, and it's almost like the brilliance is gone. All the um, all the things they were um, 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 trying to achieve, all the goals that they were trying to achieve, everything just seemed to have disappeared once they got married. I, I don't understand why that happens. Maybe someone can explain it to me because I'm not married. I don't know why that happens. I would assume that when you get married, you should even glow the more. And your purpose and your goals should even be realized the more. So why is it that some of these people get married and they seem like a shadow of themselves or they lose interest in everything? Their goals just disappear. It's almost like they become like a shadow of themselves. Why does that happen? To that point, I agree with her. So it almost feels like some people just get married just to come and snatch all the good from you and empty you and leave you empty. And this can happen to men too. It's not just women. This can also happen to men where women will marry certain, they will marry a good man and suck the life out of him. And when you see the man, the man looks like a shadow of himself. Or some of them, once they are able to get out of the marriage, they never want to be married ever again because of the experience they've had with a woman who's left a bitter taste in their mouth. You understand? So this thing happens both ways. You know, I know that for men, their pressure starts to happen once they hit 30. But for women, it's a lot younger than that. Why? Because of the so-called biological clock. To me, I say, who created the clock in the first place? Who created the clock? Because if everybody is rushing, we're now saying that we are in the ones in control of our lives. So it must happen according to the way we want it to happen. So if it's not happening like that, we have to rush it. You understand? Exactly. It I am your gracious greatness. So the way me say see love, I don't understand. Maybe because I'm a, I'm a helpless romantic in my head. The picture of love that I have, all this is when I did hear, sometimes I, they baffle me. I would say, I don't understand. Though. Where all these people they come from? Because picture of love when I get now, when you marry, you suppose glue, you suppose show. People go, they see could they say, ah, since this girl married or since this man married, man, the kind of fire you can't find now, the kind of glow you can't get now, we don't understand though. The person could they be more attractive. Not be say problem, no good thing. Not be so now, no go argue. But not be to the point where you go be like, say you they lose your soul or you they lose a vital essence of who you are just because say, you marry. That's in for my head. Don't be so me take siam. So when I they see 
people, they experience marriage in very negative ways. It, they make me wonder, why, why marry someone and then treat them bad or suck the life out of them or kill their goals and aspirations for life? Because we've seen, for instance, now, even though I hate to talk about this um, um, Yule and um, May's case, since that man behaved badly, treated the woman badly, they, she, he, he was expecting, he and the second wife were expecting that this, the first, you, May was just going to just go and hug Transformer. That's what they were thinking. But from the moment they did her wrong, everything that they meant for evil just started working out for this woman's good. This man is flying all over the place, enjoying herself. She's like a young girl that's never been married. There's a glow about her. It's almost like she has burst through the sky and she's just reaching up and up and going up and up and up. So it won I wonder, so was it that you was the one sitting on top of that? So you was not giving her the, the uh, opportunity, creating an environment for her to thrive? Is that what it means? So then why would you marry a man? Who doesn't see value in you? That's the question I have. You know? I know nobody, me, no hate marriage. I personally, that I'm talking here, I love marriage. Because I, I, the picture I have of marriage is a beautiful thing. I don't have any negative thing about marriage. And when I say that doesn't mean you're not going to argue. Because even as brothers and sisters in a house, you argue. Even with your parents, sometimes you don't get along. Right? But I don't have this idea of trying to defeat each other in a marriage. I don't. So these things, these conversations I'm having, I'm also, it's also an eye-opener for me. I have seen, like I said, I've seen classmates that I went to school with got married. When I saw them years after, I couldn't recognize them. They were like a shadow of themselves. And they were not even thriving. They're not, they were not thriving. Like, I'm like, what? happened here you know it's almost like the freshness was gone like the freshness was just scraped off of them you know like they couldn't aspire anymore i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i'm sure you guys understand what i mean i fear because of the thing when i hear for sister b show today oh really i know what she said man almost i wasn't on sister b show what did you hear Share with me, share with us, I beg. Me, yeah, I know here. Oh, thank you very much, Golden Act. Welcome. It'd be like, say, certain people hate marriage, not be everybody. Low. That's true. Some people, maybe they have their reasons. Exactly. Maybe. I don't know. My people go through and still remain because of the stigma of society. Yes, this is true. Love, love, that's true. You know, exactly. You go, it, it, thank you, gracious greatness. You just take a comment from my mouth. You go see some people, go be like saying, I torture them, go torture them for the marriage. You can't wonder this person go torture them. I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of you can relate to what I'm saying here. You go be like saying, they go torture them. When you see them, they know be, they be like shadow of them, them themselves. They'll come be like background. They go just quiet, all kind of quiet. You know, they make sense to me. You know, I understand say marriage not perfect. Not be the picture when they paint be that. But my my problem now be say why people they marry to deal with another person. You will just marry person for her. Say okay, you I will deal with you. You come to true open mind. They deal with the person because when you they do that one, you're actually dealing with yourself without even knowing that you're doing it to yourself because we are all a reflection of each other, whether we like it or not. You see this world, we're all connected. So whatever you do to anybody, you're actually doing it to yourself. I don't know if you, if you understand that, I do. So whatever you do to someone, you're doing it to yourself. So it they, it they baffle me when I, I go see say, some people, when they're married, they will come, they treat their mates badly, poorly. You understand? The mate, person, not if he talk again, they will just turn the person to another thing. They will come bring out the worst of the person. You understand? Or some people know if they don't feel even groomed, they don't fit um, encourage you to be the best version of yourself. Instead, they will discourage you so that you will lose your self-esteem, 
lose everything good about you. That's what they care about. You know? Exactly. Women are going through a lot, especially in Nigeria. Exactly. You know, especially in Nigeria, a lot of women are going through a lot and people are still running and desperately rushing into this marriage. That's the part I don't get. Why marry a man, a man that does not respect you, does not care for you, does not like you? I'm not saying love now. Does not like you, will not take care of your children. They won't even feel connected to your children because they have a lack respect for you. They don't love you. They don't care about you. So your children don't mean anything to them. So those children will now grow up dysfunctional because they will be missing the love of the father. Some of the issues that you see people have later in years is because it's as a result of the, the, um, that missing ingredient, that missing love of a father that they didn't have, of a parent, maybe a mother or a father, depending on who's treating who badly, right? It's, it's all, it always shows up. So my question is, so why marry with the intention of hurting your partner? If you have the mind, if it's beginning to come into your mind that, oh, I feel like dealing with this person, it's time for you to have a conversation and deal with these issues that's really eating you up. So you do not turn into something else in that marriage. Or some people don't. Instead, they will keep it and be dealing with the person. You know? Oh, Jemwa, thank you for coming up, Jare, my sister. Thank Hello. you so much. Everybody, everybody just rest. No one goes with me. I don't go take for you, Nana Sabi. I will not stay here. Thank Hello, you, Jean. you saved the day. <laughs> welcome, Hello. welcome. I appreciate you. Welcome. Thank you. How have you been? <laughs> I'm good, though. My sister, how have you been? How was your weekend? Yeah, it was interesting. Interesting. Taking each day as it comes. That's the way it's going, girl. Yeah. Oh, that's off. the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome. So As for marriage, this Obon... I, don't have, I don't have experience in marriage because I'm very, very happily single. <laughs> or should I say I'm in a situation Okay. Or uh, I don't know whether to call it partnership. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have the right word to, to qualify it. Okay. But it is it is highly complicated. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever heard that phrase of single and living? No. Relationship and living single. Have you had this speak that? I don't know. Marriage, married and living single. I don't hear. <laughs> but this one, there's no marriage. This one is single and uh, <laughs> partnership and living single. Have you? Ah. Okay. Now, what you going to do for that night now? Wash your hand, run. <laughs> I'm ready to run. Person will run. Person not really. They say, you know, when someone gets to a certain age, you will not start telling you that, ah. Where you are going to is closer to where you are coming from. Have you heard that statement before? My sister, not trap statement be that. <laughs> you I, know what they call I, it? Tra I, a booby I, trap. Not trap be that. That no, because it, uh -huh. it, it, go it, ahead. It's my um late uncle they used to tell that time. At that time, he was he was in his uh, se early seventies, you know. So they used to tell him that ah. I'll go where you are going to is because that's where you're coming from. I used to wonder where is his destination now? Is he going to Delta State? Is he going to Edo State? Is he where you are going to? Before I now realize I'm talking about his age, that he can't live, he's lived 70 years already. And how much further does he think he can? He can't live another 70 years physically. So where he's going to, as in when he finally expires or deletes. It's it's closer for him. I don't know how to analyze the thing, but he can't live another 70 years. He's lived more than half of his lifetime already. So when it's when it's becoming troublesome, they to remind him, come, Uncle, where you're going to is closer to where you're coming from. So just uh, <laughs> that one be not careful. be no, that one not me. That one a trap. When you're going to is closer to where that's a trap. 
if something is not, you have to, I mean, depending on your scenario, are you hanging out because you're feeling like, oh, it's, I might, this might just be it? Are you happy with the situation? Are you at peace with it? Do you enjoy what it is? Because those are questions you have to answer because at this, any stage in your life, you ha always have to have peace of mind. And there has to be some type of upward mobility. So if it doesn't look like that and you're just hanging out for the sake of where you are going to is closer than where you are coming from, that's a lie from a pit of hell. That's no, a I'm lie not, to I'm keep not, you... I'm not adding, I'm not adding mm -hmm. the two together. I'm only saying okay. just a proverb where okay. they say elders... Mm -hmm. When they're trying to remind somebody or someone who is of age, like an right. elder, mm -hmm. they tell they usually tell them, um, judge wisely, right? Because where you're going to is closer to where you're coming from, okay? Because you, you're not you're not twenties, thirties, forties, yeah, in your seventies. So uh, you'll say, oh, the day where you're going to is closer to where you're coming from. You're about to, you know. To go to meet to meet Baba God. So why are you behaving like someone who is thirty? Do you get what I'm saying? No, I'm not equating it. Unfortunately, tonight is not a confession night, so I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't uh, download. No, if no work. No Allah. <laughs> May I? We don't want Mira <laughs> to come and be asking you, Bibi. Using BB like English customer. to ask you questions. She's my customer. She's my customer. Customer, <laughs> Dada. <laughs> Mirabel will end up and say, okay, uh, wait, oh, let's uh, explore this further. I'll be surprised. And she sounds like a lawyer, you know. She might be. Mirabel might be. She'll make a good lawyer. But her wallet yeah, too much. Yeah. I don't go want to make Mirabel be my lawyer. My goodness. It go abuse you. Yeah, I would like her to be on my side. I would like her to be I on like my side. I like her to be on my side. But she'll be ready to take some insults too. Be ready to and not that, insult. That not in a bad way. That would be, that would be behind the door. Behind the door, yeah. She'll uh, chide you. She'll say, hey, but why you talk? But you, wait, 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 wait. But why you not doing like this? If you say you're doing like this now, you go chide you, but you go, be, you go do your side. Like she will enable you have she will enable you have a, a reflection in that thinking. Yes, yes. You would have you would have you would have given her all the necessary information <laughs> without knowing that. Exactly. If, <laughs> if, if you were lying, you would have started confessing without knowing. Without knowing, you've confessed everything to me, Abel. <laughs> are you here? Are you hearing? We are talking about you now. You you can't do anything about it. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, this video when I play, I don't know whether you did here when I played the video. No, I wasn't. Uh, okay, I know if you play them again, it's long. Uh, summary of it was generally, the person just talking about marriage, say the pressure of marriage, they make some people, they go marry, they will lose their purpose, or they go marry into bad person hand when you treat them badly. Go, uh, they go lose their their purpose you know lose every goodness they have by just getting married to the wrong person you know because they're in a hurry to get married you see some men will pressure you they will tell you say look oh your age you are climbing up in age you if you don't marry now you know all trying to charge you to just get married regardless of what it is because you might end up marrying and it doesn't you know it turns out horribly for you so you have to be careful what your choices are be careful, don't be in a hurry, take your time and, you know, get to know the person you want to marry before you marry. That's kind of the summary of what she was saying. <clears throat> well, my take on it is that I don't think there's any textbook. There might be guides towards uh, what you need to do, what you need to look for, so many things you need to achieve in life before you start talking about marriage. You really need to understand marriage. And it took me a little bit, a little a while to realize that you can't be seeking for happiness in somebody else's arms. Neither, sure. should, you, neither should you marry because you want to please some people. If love comes your way, it's if you find your soulmate, if really that really exists, I feel it exists. 
if you find a soulmate early, fine. It would survive the test of time, survive when you don't have anything. And if you don't find your soulmate early enough, then you'll just have to make do with all the hassles and traumas all along the way until you eventually find, if you feel healthy enough to realize that this is your soulmate when you eventually find a soulmate. But ideally, one thing I've noticed, because I've attended many, many, many weddings, the only people I've seen that, the only set of people I've seen that were really, really happy about on their wedding day were those who were probably using pregnancy to marry. If you get what I mean, that we're setting that mm -hmm. this, this is my husband, you know, when they say husband, it's, most times you find out that people are just trying to put the cards on the table and decide, oh, let me do it because other people are doing it, or let me just marry because it's the age factor. Let me just marry because, ah, my father said I should. Uh, then maybe after I would divorce. So the, the word marriage has, to me, I feel it has lost its its actual value. And I schooled in the north again, and I used to notice then that they usually say once a female is getting towards the age of twenty five, they marry her off to her cousin. Or they find her husband so that she doesn't get too, doesn't stay at home too long. They don't even let mm -hmm. her get to the age of 25. So I sort of had that age gap to, I mean, age limit to myself in a way, because I schooled there for six months, uh, six years, secondary school, boarding school. And in essence, I know, yes, it's like some form of discrimination when you're now married off to your cousin because you haven't brought someone or somebody has been found you or whatever. But in a way, if you look at it in, in um, if you try to look at the medical aspect of it, most women who don't have children now in their marriages, if they had married earlier in life, would have had kids. Because let's look at the essence of marriage, for example. Why do people get married? Because they don't want to be lonely, because they want to have kids because they want to climb a ladder or they want to achieve some political situ um, situationship or they need some form of acknowledgement in the society or I don't know. So many people marry for very many reasons, financial gain, stability. The, the list goes on and on and on and on. But left to me, I think we've lost the real value of marriage because When you think of people that you know personally who have gotten married and they're now what they're going through and what they're still going through right now as we speak, all in the name of what the people say, they're staying inside that marriage. It's sad and discouraging that why why get married in the first place if you know you're not happy, you don't feel 100% in your heart that, man, this, this is going to work. So most times, like a gamble. People just gamble this thing. I don't know if I'm making sense, so I'm just glad. It. Can you hear me? No, I can hear you. I'm listening to you. I'm just yeah. waiting for you to land. Um, yeah. It, it's like a gamble. Let's just throw the net into the sea. Let's see whether we're going to catch crabs or fish. Or maybe it will be better for me. That's what I feel. Pretense, you know. Yeah, but that's not mm. that's that's re that's um that's subjective. That's relative. People want what they want, right? Every individual has a reason for doing what they want to. They're doing, or a reason for being with the person that they're they're with, right? Everybody has. Everybody, if you ask now, take it a, a poll. I ask ten people why you want to get married. You will get different reasons. Maybe some will be the same. But a lot of times, there are different reasons. Like to your point, some people get married because they want to have kids. Some people get married because they're lonely. Some people get married because they want to climb up status-wise, right? 
But are those good re- good reasons to get married? Are those good enough? Are they are those? Let me rephrase it. Are they sustainable reasons to get married? Having children for a man doesn't guarantee you, or a woman having children for a man or a man, uh, um, you know, being there while you have the children is not a guarantee that it's going to remain there. Oh. Having, um, because you are lonely, you marry, is not a guarantee that the person is not going to walk away and the loneliness will revisit you again. Marrying someone because of status doesn't mean they're not going to drop you from that high place that they placed you and pick somebody else. There are no... It's not a guarantee. It's not a sustainable reason. And this is what we keep doing back in Nigeria. At least I can speak to that. A lot of people marry for the wrong reasons. That's not the reason why you get married. We don't, if people don't even understand the reason why you decide, I want to be with this person from a different family, different background, different training, different home. Most of us don't have... A lot of times people rush into marriage in Nigeria because the pressure is get married, you're almost 26. Get married so that you can have your mm-hmm. children. Get mar- Some people have children and they don't like their children. How about that? When you talk to them now in their 40s, they're saying if they had, if they knew, they would not have had any children. I've, I've heard that. Some people regret having children. Some people did not know what it meant, what they were walking into when they got married. They had no idea. Nothing prepared them. They walked into it, and then we, after suffering, for as long as they suffer, they're like, man, if I were to do this again, I would never. So those reasons are not sustainable reasons. That is why there's a problem, because people are not married for the right reasons. It's a different thing if you're younger and you don't you you make it you know you get married. Some people get married early and it's wonderful all through. Yes, especially if you meet right? your soulmate. Yeah, not so not uh, necessary. So that issue of someone, soulmates. Wait, no, let, let me address that lucky. issue. Some people are lucky. Wait, 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 OJ Moore. The issue of soulmate. Your soulmate can be anybody. It doesn't have to be a man. Your soulmate can be another woman. It doesn't mean you're a lover. Mm-hmm. doesn't mean you mean you love. No, it just means that that person understands you so much. There's that soul connection between you. So it doesn't have to be a man. So the issue of soulmate is not you meeting your soulmate. It's you meeting the person that the creator has placed in front of you, that you too have a mission. You have a goal to get that. That's, That's what, what I people call soulmate. miss it. That's, where, okay, that's that, what I call soulmate, yes. Yeah, that, 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 that's a different meaning. Soulmate is different from the purpose person for your life. Soulmate is different. A soulmate can be a woman just like you. A soulmate can be a man to a man just like him. So not necessarily accurate like that, right? So for a, the reason why there's, there's a lot of these issues now is because people, some people marry... You, I, growing up, a lot of girls had an idea, a, a dream of how their marriage would be. It's always fairy tale. It's always fairy tale for women, right? It's always fairy tale. You have people with dolls. You see girls with dolls. Go bless in this world. One end, they love dolls. They love the idea of homemaking and all of that from a young age, right? And then, no talk of when we got into um, university, and I mean, secondary school, and people, Mills and Boone now became, man, a lot of girls got lost in the Mills and Boone era. James Hadley Chase. You understand? Mills and Boone, when they meet a guy that's talking to them, they'll be comparing the guy with the Mills and Boone yeah, guy that was described. Fantasizing. Did you read, did you read James Hadley Chase? I, James Hadley Chase, um, Agatha Christie, Pay setters, those were my those are the books mm. I read. I wasn't into the mills and bone stuff, right? So what I am I saying? It is that's what has messed up a lot of people. So when as you're coming up as a young girl, you meet a guy, you're not looking at ah, this guy, I like the way he treats me. I like the way he talks to me. I like the way he, you know, you're not thinking, you you're already thinking about your eye, which is your eye they see is ruggedly handsome. He's tall, dark, and handsome. When did that word dark and handsome become very popular? Do you understand what I'm saying? So all the men, when they're not called tall, dark, and handsome, they will do me, they go home transformer. Everybody deserves. So 
My point is this. We have deviated from the path that the creator has placed. So problems will always occur. It is always the case. When you deviate from the center, error, 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 now you're going to get. I think now you're what, going to get. what I feel is a, a teenager, for example, is naive, both male and female. It depends on the background, where you're from, as in, where, as in your upbringing, your background, your exposure. Imagine a teenager, a teenage girl, gets some little attention from another guy who is also a teenager. Such teenagers are smitten. They are like, that guy, they start looking at that guy like their, their ideal partner. Some girls are actually thinking of, oh God, how I wish I'm going to get married to this boy. How our kids are going to look like. Because you know, fantasy thing just comes up. That was in my own time. Oh, I don't know what they're doing now. Everything's on Instagram and Snapchat and everything, you know. So I really don't, I don't know, maybe we have to add it to curriculum in school, like what to look out for. But me, when I was growing up, I used to look at what not to take. For example, you know, some red flags, where I didn't know it was red flags then, but I was more interested in things to run away from, you know, based on the knowledge I had then about life which I learned from listening to people, what's happening within the family, you know, just what I, the information I had from friends and what's going on in their own family. So actually, I think more education should be given to young people where they can, apart from wanting education, to also be, have a knowledge about what to do when they become mature enough, what to do to to get to a certain age before you can think you should marry or what to look for in a partner, when to start looking for a partner. It's, it's, it's very, it's a difficult, it's a very, very wide, I don't know how to put it. It's not something you can really like guide or give a, a policy on. It's, it's, it's because it's, it's very variable and it's different to individuals. Exactly. Sense. Exactly. Mm. No, you you are. Uh, Neka, welcome. Oh, sorry, I see you. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome. Hello, Hi. 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 Good, thank you. It's so good to hear your voice. What do you get to talk to <laughs> to Bunge Mata? <laughs> mm. I tell you. Um I get the video that you um you played, I get I I think the person is mostly talking about um, pressure, right? Yes. So yes. I think I think it's of course we all know it's been happening for a long time. Right. Where I will use myself as um as an example, like <laughs> you know, that's what you know when you reach a certain age in Nigeria, especially of course girls, they be like ah. Your age, they are in their husband's house, mm -hmm. so that's pressure on his own. That's that's actually pressure number one. The impression number two is you know the one you put on yourself, like ah, all my friends are married, and for like, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, yes. so for somebody like me, I remembered when I turned 25. My dad was like, how old are you today? I said, 25. Ah, no boyfriend. So can you imagine? And I said, at that time, out of all of my friends, home and abroad, I'm the only one that is unmarried. So pressure started <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't think like um, OJ is saying, like, I think she's trying to say that, oh, maybe marriage is overrated. I don't think so. I think there's just been a lot of mistakes from what we call culture. Mm -hmm. In the sense that putting pressure on on the you know on the female on the females. 
at in their t- early twenties, as soon as you're done with school, oh, you know, the next thing is to bring a guy home. And people are talking more now because of situations where they found themselves. And it's not, you know, the way our parents um were able to accept it, be there and, you know, not say anything and, you know, accept all the things that people are saying no to now. I think mm-hmm. now that people are saying no, it now seems as if it's overrated. Like people are not patient. I don't think so. I think this generation is saying no to what should have been say, you know, said before. What your parents should have said no to. Their children are saying, okay, well, no to this one. I don't want to do it. It's not like, okay, okay marriage is overrated. Because trust me, all that pressure, if you finally just find someone, oh, oh, let me get married now to this guy. And you don't know him that well. Or maybe you do know him, but you accept everything that comes with the package. It multiplies and it destroys the relationship in the end and probably ends in a divorce or husband and wife becoming miserable. So these days, I just think you should they should let people, um, especially females, let them take their time to get married. And I honestly do think a lot of I wish there could be, you know, counseling for females, not a marriage counseling, you know, right. not, yeah, like just number for females to know what to watch out for. Or even and even the males too, because they are Mongo packs, <laughs> Mongo pack male females too. Yeah, just, absolutely. So you know what to what you know look out for, and not to just accept anything as easy. And another lie people, you know, our parents tell us, "Oh, my change, you know, oh, she'll change or she'll change." That's a life in a bit of hell. Nothing exactly. like that. Exactly. You can't change anyone, no. That person mm-hmm. has to be willing to change on their own. Otherwise, you cannot change anyone. Thank you very exactly. much, Neka. Let me come to Love Love. Um, okay. That was a great contribution, Neka. Uh, love Thank Love, you. good to have you on here. Welcome. Hello, Moye. That's my Hi. first time. On the show. Oh, thank you. Yay. <laughs> I always comment. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good to um, hear you. Yeah, I'm not Nigerian. I'm from the southern part of Africa. Okay. And um, I'm trying to kind of like see, like, I know that I show, uh, you know, I follow you, I follow Obodo Ibo, mm-hmm. and, you know, it's always like, you know, relationship things and all that. But um, where I come from, it's like, it's totally different. I know, you know, like, I've learned a lot hanging out with Nigerians. I'm from London, Southeast London, and you know, that's oh. the Lagos of the UK. Okay. <laughs> so I've, I've branded with them, I've schooled with them, you know, okay. I've dated them. So I quite have a, you know, not yeah. a lot of knowledge about Nigeria. You know, I know almost all cities, uh, you know, the news and everything. I follow everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because so you're I'm Nigerian not, now. Yeah, yeah bona yeah, fide Nigerian, Nigerian now. <laughs> I understand uh i understand um what do you call this peach and english you know but I can't, uh-huh. I can't speak it oh yet. awesome okay <laughs> yeah um the thing is like um when i started you know living with nigerians and hanging out with them i've learned so much when it comes mm-hmm. to marriages and relationship but then the way they take marriage is like to another level yes. where i come from whether you are 40 and your husband marries you you don't have a child it's not it's it, it's it's normal it's okay you yes. get what i'm saying yeah yeah but where in nigeria it's like a taboo your mm-hmm. husband the, the family will probably try to find another wife because you can't have a child not knowing mm-hmm. that it might be the men's problem or something that's what i've observed you know living among nigerians you know yes. don't quote me wrong or attack me please in the comment section no, 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 you're right. They can't attack you. Well, it's the truth you're yeah. saying. Ah. And then another thing is like when you don't have a male child, like to us as well, having a male child is very important because the male child carries the father's name to 
you know, the next generation, which is fair. But then mm -hmm. if you marry a woman and she has five girls, she doesn't have a son, it's still okay where I come from. If you are 40, you don't have a child, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know? But like me living amongst Nigerians, like now I'm 40, I don't have a child. They don't even ask to say, oh, what happened to you? Why don't you have a child? Is there a problem? Or did right. you go through something or something? The moment they see you, they just judge you. They are like, oh, 40, what are you waiting for? How come you don't have a child? <laughs> you know, yes. like, is there nobody, man, is there no man that wants you? And you're mm -hmm. like, have you even asked me, am I okay? What's wrong? Is there anything mm -hmm. wrong or anything, you know? So I was going to say like, and then another thing is like, and then they say marriage is very important. That's why I've always said that, oh, I've always wanted, wanted a child with an agenda. Life is not fair. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. I've always said that I don't want a child. I want, I've always wanted a child with a Nigerian man because they are very family oriented. Yes. They love family. Every yes. boyfriend, you know, every Nigerian boyfriend that I've dated, not that I've dated many, don't quote me, but like every, <laughs> every Nigerian understand. boyfriend that I've dated, yeah, every Nigerian yeah. boyfriend that I've dated, they all, mm -hmm. they all came from, a, you know, mom and dad who were married. Mm -hmm. Where to us, it's like, you know, your mom can have a child, like my mom, we are three and we are all from different fathers. You know, which, where we come from, it's like, it's okay. But then when I started living with Nigerians, I'm like, no, that's not okay. So sometimes it's your culture. Sometimes it's the way you are brought up in. You get me? Mm -hmm. So when they, this is why I always say that when Nigerian men come to us, they kind of like take advantage. And then when they go to their Nigerian women, they don't behave like that. If you, you can never date a Nigerian woman for more than, let's say, a year and not be serious with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then when you come to dating all these South African women or whatever, I'm from the South. So they always right. like oh, this and that. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. Yet. I'm, and then you are like, but if it was a Nigerian woman, you know, you would be, you know, you would date, you know, differently. But then, yeah, I but you know, yeah, mm -hmm. but you know, let me just quickly interject there. It's interesting yeah. you say this because Nigerian men are also known to marry outside of Nigeria. It's not an issue for them. Are you right? kidding me? Oh yeah, they marry from. In fact, one there's a there's a popular uh, popular pastor in Nigeria that's married to South Africa. In fact, I have two friends that are married to South African women. Yeah, but then... Oh my Do you understand? God. So I, I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying that it's interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. that you say this because even with the same Nigerian men would also yeah. play Nigerian women sometimes, right? Yeah. So I, I still, I'm like, not ready. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I think from I think because our population are smaller, way smaller mm -hmm. than Nigeria population, right. Nigerian population. So the, the the amount of people that get that date Nigerians and get married to Nigerians is very small. But okay. then the amount to you as a Nigerian, the amount of probably Nigerians marrying outside, it's, it's maybe larger. Right. But to us, like, you know, people who even come to us, you who date Nigerian men, they just use you and dump you. They never <laughs> marry you. Because then if you really count, it's only three among, you know, 20 of us who really, you know, settled with Nigerian men. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I like their values. I like their, you know, everything because I like people who come from families, which then I also come back to my culture and I'm like, no, this is not right. How can you yeah. date somebody for more than two years and not mm -hmm. have, you know, so I've actually, you know, learned a lot as well. But then, yeah. Right. At the same time, yeah. It yeah i mean for i don't everybody has their own different experiences i just think that people will like what they like and it's okay to like what you like as long as you're ready to stand by it there's a comment i want to read here on no says no marriage equals lack of banana in one's life which causes one to age very quick ah i be oh. i did number one for that list now but i'm not aging you no know. matter of fact exactly. i'm younger every I day so you what is your me. point even if you see me <laughs> you know, it's like 40 so that one do you understand bad. like this is a very this is a very sex sexist statement to make for lack of better words what kind of what kind of uh uh, uh talk is that it doesn't yeah, mean anything do you know there are also single people that do not lack banana in their lives. Do you know that? Exactly. There are people that are getting regular banana, even more than exactly. the ones that are married. And so that's not even is, enough. Oh, yeah. I've hung out with Nigerians so much that I know so much about them. 
every those <laughs> days when I was in my twenties, then I when I used to go clubbing, it's married men with full there. And mm. you know what they would do? They would take their side chicks there. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. They would take their side mm-hmm. chicks there. Every I had friends who were married to who, who were dating married men. They only date married Nigerian men. To me, I've we've always argued about that. I was the black sheep of the friends yeah. because I was so against it. Yeah, I've, yeah. I, I don't like it, and I've, I will never like it. Right. But loads of married Nigerian men, especially in London. I'm talking about London because I've lived there in for years mm-hmm. and years. I don't know mm-hmm. anywhere else. They will go out with married. Uh, uh, married men will go out with their side chicks and girlfriends to clubs, to parties, or either if they go to parties with their madam, they will go and drop madam and the kids at home, and they will take their side chicks, you know, to a feather house party. Their friends who knows that they are married, they they will all go and drop their wives at home and the children. Yeah. So I don't know what is marriage again. Yes. And then the wife so, will be like, as long as she does not, as long as she does not bring the, him to the to the house, exactly. he will not bring the magic to the house. Yeah, he will never. Yeah, some some of them, some of some most, let me say, most Nigerian women accept their husband's chicken. They see it and they turn the other eye. They will turn the other cheek. It's a known fact. So there are some people that are okay with it. They will get married and their husbands are clubbing every night with one side chick after another. And to them, it's okay. And that's what they used to console themselves. I'm the one at home. At least he married me. And as long as he doesn't bring the woman home, and as long as he doesn't stay the night out, yeah, you hear stuff, excuses like that. So yes, and some of the side chicks, most of them know that the men are married and they don't care. So they just do what they want to do. And sometimes the person ends up being a second wife or an imposed second wife. It happens. We see it, you know. But there are also Nigerian men that don't play that lifestyle. They don't like it. They're not interested in it. So, again, because we're a large population, like you said, people have different values and what they're looking for. And yeah. to grab it as this point, right, at the end of the day, I'll just say people should just make a point, make it a point to get married for the right reason on the line. There are no, your reason may be different from mine. But as long as it is what you genuinely, I give you a, a very good uh, example. Right? My mom, when she got married, I asked her, so why did you get married to my dad? These are the reasons she gave. There were three very solid reasons for her. He was a provider, right? Mm. He cared about family. He was a family oriented man because my, my, my parents came from polygamous homes. My mom yeah, didn't want anything. Yes. Exactly. Sure. My mom never wanted anything to do with polygamy. So she wanted a she wanted to be with a man who wasn't into that. And someone who uh, would protect her or something like that. There were three very, very solid reasons. And that's the reason she married my dad. And true to her word, my dad was like that to her till the very end. So you yeah. have to know everybody, everybody, we all have preferences. We're four here, right? Neka, OJ, and Love Love, right? We yeah. all have what I want may be different from what you want in a man. Of course. There are certain things that are deal breakers to you that are not deal breakers to me. There are certain things that are deal breakers for Neka, for OJ, for Love that are not to me. So knowing yeah. this is where knowing yourself and understanding yourself comes in. If you know yourself and you understand yourself, you understand what you want out of life, you'll be able to make better choices. You will not just close your eyes and, then, and oh, just yeah, what you don't what you don't understand is like you you are talking from a wise person's p- perspective. Just like me, I, I will talk, I know what I want, I know what mm-hmm. I will not do, I know what I will do. You get me? But somebody who's like, even, okay, where I come from, in a small, nice village, if a man mm-hmm. is behaving that way, they will not know. Even like things that are happening in, a, in women in Nigeria, you know, those ones who are maybe illiterate or Ill- Ill- illiterate, you know, mm-hmm. they, will, they, they will not know. They will not know that, oh, this is my deal breaker. They will, because of the way they are brought up in that society, they will think that that's normal. You get me? That's what I'm saying. This is, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Getting to know yourself, it has, it, it, it has to do with education, right? Not mm-hmm. rushing off and getting married, especially when you're very young. Because when you're very young, I tell you, if I was married in my 20s, I probably would have been divorced by now. Because I was not the kind of woman you wanted. I was just not that person. I was a very opinionated person, as you can tell. 
very i've always been like this right and my i when something is right not right i say it instantly i don't wait i see the hot i'm bringing it down right but yeah. over the years i've been able to understand okay there are better ways you can say this there's a better way you can present this you know there's so many things i came to know about myself now for some people they get wise even in their 20s there's some very yeah. wise 20 year old ladies because they had their mothers talking to them their aunts talking to them they had people pouring into them educating them enough to help them and some people who were born wise so some people as early as in their 20s they already figured their life out what they want to be in life what they want to do they already the people like that right but yeah. if just you know yeah. that i think it depends on your yeah. environment to be honest i depend but even with your environment why i'm saying that, that that's uh -huh. why i'm saying that um yeah yeah even if they in, in in the environment but in the environment is what brought you up what brings you up what brought you up whatever what's the english word yeah because to I be understand. honest like i'm just saying yeah but but just like i'm saying now it was normal for us growing up where i come from knowing that my mom can have children from different fathers. It's normal. The, the fathers don't have to look after me. It's normal. As long as I've got my uncles, my moms, and everything. But then when I came to live around Nigerians, that's when I found out, like, wow, a father and mother and children have to be in the same place. And that's normal. That's why when they see me, when I say that, oh, my mom is not married, they're like, what do you mean your mom is not married? They find it very, you know, like shocking. You get me. So that's what I'm telling you that that to the, to Nigerians that environment that's the right environment, and then to 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 where I come from is like this is the right in, this is the environment I was brought up in. You get me. I understand, but, I understand yeah, what you're saying. You love, love. Up, yeah, mm -hmm. when you mix up, then you learn to say, "Wow, this Nigerian okay. way is actually the yeah. right way." So this is the learning that I'm talking about. Yeah. So you you grew up in that environment, right? Yeah. You grew up in an environment where you saw things differently, and to you that was normal where because was that's to, what you saw. A different father, <laughs> exactly, right? Yes. But when you now stand, it's part. The part of the education is meeting people, learning yeah. differently from what you came up. Right? Then you see, you say, "Oh, I actually prefer this." Right? This is how I want my life to be. Then you start to make better choices. That's part of what I'm talking about. Of course, get to but know... not many people get that chance. That's why many people are trapped in drunk relationships and marriages. I am lucky. You are lucky that I make. I, I, I'm, I'm naturally somebody who mixed up with everybody. Whether you are from Ghana, we are from Nigeria, whether from South Africa, we are. I'm mixed up. I'm that type of a person. If you get to know me, you will think that oh, you've known me for years. You get me. But there are so many unfortunate people. That's why they end up in such marriages. Well, I'll have to push back on that a little because there are people who still did not grow up, did not have the right uh, environment to grow up in, right, and were able to thrive even in that environment, come out of it, and choose That's different. Right. There are yeah. parents, even you're talking about Nigeria, there are Nigerian parents that are divorced, right? Mm -hmm. There are Nigerian parents who grew up, you know, had, I mean, who got married, had children, and those children grew up in their dysfunction. And those children yeah. grew up saying, no, I, I don't want to be like mom or dad. I choose different. Yeah. So it happens. I'm not, this, there's no yardstick for measuring the, the kids that will grow up and understand and the kids that will grow up and will not understand. There's no yardstick. There's no end to learning. But as long yeah, as a question, you... please. Yeah. Who's this? Oh, OJ, go ahead, please. Um, why do you think, what's the difference between back in the days, I'm talking about 30 years, 40 years ago, when our parents used to marry early? Much at that time, at compared that time, to uh, now, compared to now, where we have people like the likes of um, Rita, Dom Rita, Rita Dominic, um, recently got married, her, her age like 40 plus, and cool. That is like the age that we find many people getting married now. Why, what's what yeah, the difference? What was happening back then and, uh, that is no longer happening now? You have to remember back then, women did not have a voice. You were property. Exactly. Okay, let me take you back to history. You did not have a choice, baby yeah. girl. OJ, as you're coming up, 
once you start to develop breasts, mm -hmm. once you don't see your first period, you are right to be married. They Let me even you. tell you, my great grandmother. They will tell family. you exactly. This is the man you are going to be. They go usher you. They go carry you. Escort you go to the man house. You were born like twelve children for dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my how great grandmother. My great grandmother mm -hmm. told me that she was actually taken to another people's house, as in like family, uh -huh. when she was twelve or fourteen or something. She uh -huh. was thinking that, oh, these are my cousins because we marry cousins. I know everybody is going to go on about that in the comment section, you know. <laughs> but we don't have exactly. We don't have. It's not incest to us and whatever, you know. Only my uh -huh. tribe. Yeah. Do you understand? Then, so yeah, and then she was actually taken to another family when she was twelve or whatever, and then by the time she was eighteen, that's when they told her that, oh no, now you are grown up. You are eighteen. This is your husband. We are just bringing you up. That was old time, and you had no say in anything. Aha. Uh -huh. That's old so, That's how it was. Okay, exactly. So that's how it was. So if 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 people want to continue to live like that, then you know, we'll go school, man. But if you get, if you are lucky, you went to primary school. Matter of fact, it was discouraged to educate female uh, girls at that of time. Course. It was. Exactly. It was for. No, yeah, it was not. Point. Yeah, it was like education. No, girls Knowledge. are not for education. They will marry after all. I beg, it's a waste of money. Let's put all the money together and train the boy child because it's the boy child that will carry the name forward. So you found a lot of women back then they were uneducated and didn't have a choice. They don't have a voice in their husband's homes. Unless the ones that were lucky enough, they married good men who allowed their wives, who gave them permission to go to teacher training. No, this is not say as teacher training, teachers plenty that time. And are mostly yeah. women. Because the husbands that uh, are secretaries, and exactly. uh, secretaries are nursing. You understand? That was for those who that they are paid that the husbands are allowed. So back then women did not have a voice. But we're in an era where in a, we're in a blessed era where women have voice, where you can choose and say, no, I don't want to be with a man that's going to do me anyhow or treat me anyhow. I want to choose by myself. It's a blessing to be in this generation. You're, the thing is, you have to just figure out what it is you want with a partner. And you have to be realistic about it. The problem is a lot of people are not realistic. You're looking for the thought that can handsome. You're looking for the one that has the bag. But the man is a monster inside. But he has the bag, though. So you are saying to your... You are, the woman is saying, oh, I'd rather cry in a Lamborghini than cry in a keke napem. But guess what? The person that is driving the keke napem, right, will drive that keke napem and upgrade to a Pojo. Pojo 405. From Pojo, he will upgrade to a Toyota Camry. From a Toyota Camry, he will upgrade to a Range Rover. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey, I'm preaching somebody. Hallelujah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. So from then on, the person will say, okay, you know what? I want to educate myself. I want to push myself forward. Let me tell you, there's a guy I knew back then in Nigeria. He actually interviewed him on TV. He finished school. He couldn't get a job. The guy started driving a monway to make ends meet. Hmm? After driving the monway, he was able to save some money from driving monway. And you know, driving monway in Nigeria, in Lagos, is not beans. You are go see Mabo, you are mixing with thugs. A lot of people that don't understand you, right? So you have to chalk in your English and speak the language that the streets understand. The guy hustled. After he hustled, saved up money, he bought a car, a second-hand car. Right, upgraded, started doing cab, started driving cab, made a lot of money, started his own business, stopped and, and bought some more cars, and then got some drivers and gave it to them. Every day they balance it. As I speak to you today, the guy is a wealthy guy. So why am I saying this? You have to decide for yourself. Self, what do I want with a partner that I want to be with? Realistically, not fancy not a uh, very very not very feather whatever no you have to be very honest about the things that you need not your wants because when you have needs your wants can easily be met if they are that important but when you're going after the uh, material things you will lose sight of the important values i choose peace over everything all the time 
my peace, I will not negotiate on that. That's one. Number one, this joy that I have, that is natural to me, I'm not going to lose it because of you. Those are things I know I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to compromise on. You understand? So if you're coming, you have to come bringing peace. If you're not coming with peace, you are not even getting through the door. No talk of opening it. It's not going to happen. So everybody needs to, because everybody knows, everybody likes what they like and wants what they want. So you have to decide, what do I yeah. want? Oh, I'm yeah, very in mind. Go ahead. I don't think Sorry. I don't I don't think you, you are getting, you know, <laughs> what I was trying to say as well. Because I understand what you are saying. You are saying that because you are aware of that. But there are many people who are being brought up in a society where they think that that is normal. I'm going to do this, what my parents did, what my friends did, what whoever the environment I'm around in, you know, this is what they've done and this is what we have we do all the time. You know, yeah. Most so people this is are why. not really ex exposed to so so you know so thinking like me and you. Right, I understand that. This is like why we're having these conversations. Today. Yeah, this is why course, yeah. love, love. This is yeah. why people cannot learn in isolation. You learn by listening to other people, or learn by maybe you have a neighbor that has you have the opportunity to talk to and engage with, and they impact knowledge on you. This is why we're having this conversation. Okay, I don't even know it all. Who's got, okay, I'm maybe talking to... Who's got, yes, I'm talking... Exactly. Okay, I'm fine. sharing because this with now, anybody. Anybody... Now, my mom is so, like, what, 62? And she still thinks that way. She still okay, thinks that, yeah, oh, that, being married but, a white man is better. Me doing this is better. Like, you know, this is... She still thinks like that, and she's 62. Because yeah, this that's, is what brought her up. This hate environment. Right. Even right, when you're but, trying to like, mom, this is not how the world is anymore. She does not understand it. Yeah, she will not understand it because she has not opened up her mind to learn it. She has not. Yeah. I have a mother that lives with me right now, okay? She's living with me. When she first came, there were a lot of struggles, right? Because she came for, you know, from Nigeria, the way we do things, the way we think and all of that. It took her time to start to adjust to the way life is here that she needs to understand that, oh, you can't just do certain things. You can't just say certain things. You can't, you know what I mean? You, it right? Took, in the abroad. Yes. So oh. it took her work. So everybody, and why did that happen? She had to have an open mind because her children, right, were all around her telling her, no, 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 no. Oh, talking to her, counseling her. Yeah, but even with your mother, though, you're, you're saying that she came up in a different time and she believes what she believes. Yes, she believes what she believes, that's what she came. But if she opens her mind and she listens enough to people, I tell you, she will start to see reasons why we should do yeah, away with it. Of course, I'm, you're right, yeah. That's if she listens and she believes that what you're saying is right. That's what I'm saying. If her mind is open to it, your mind has to be open enough for something. You have to say, okay, let me even listen to what this person is saying. Okay. If I'm not going to listen to you, I'm not going to learn what you're trying to tell me. I'm not going to do that. But if I'm listening to you, there's because something they have that's been that what, Whatever is right. Exactly. You know, some people are so stubborn that they don't want to learn anything. They think that. Right. Oh, no, let let me one. make my point really quickly, love, uh, love, love. Sorry, mm -hmm. and I'll let you speak. So, if, if if I'm telling you, if I'm you know speaking, even if your heart is hardened, some words will drop in your ear. Human nature. Mm -hmm. Some things will enter your mind. After everything, you will go and say, hmm, "What was that girl even saying? Who does she know?" But well, some things will be sticking back at you. You'll be hearing my voice. You'll be saying, wait, oh, she said this. Let me think about it for a minute. It kind of makes sense, shall But <clears throat> whatever. You might push it off. But then again, maybe the next day you tune in or you have the opportunity to speak to a random friend and that person brings up similar conversation like we're having right now. You will now have like, okay, if you had any questions or whatever, you now bring it to that person. You guys talk about it. Your mindset will slowly be changing, whether you like it or not. 
That's yeah. the power of information. You understand? Yes, maybe she's not ready to learn because she keeps saying, Oh, our parents have lived like that. Our parents, and I'm like, Mom, you need to open up. It's like sometimes I just want to jump on her head and just shake her head and like wake up, <laughs> you know. But she say, Oh, yeah. our parents have always done that. This is how it is. Oh, and then I think maybe it's stubbornness. She says, Oh, this is how it is. This is how it's always been. So. Uh, yeah, that's her though. But guess what though? The, the truth is that whether you like it or not, that's your same mother that's adamant about certain things. The moment mm -hmm. she starts to see you taking a different, uh, uh, making different life choices, she, will, she does not have a choice. And there are ways you can, it's your mother, there are ways you can address her or help her understand. Or okay. even if you don't, sometimes you, you can't force people to, you just have to leave it to them. You have to leave out the act. You have to be, you have to leave it out so they can see it in you. Yeah, and but then, then it, you affects, it affects our life, like us dating, like outside our tribe, if it's not from a country. And I'm like, let's say now, I mean, I'm dating a Nigerian. Oh my goodness, Wahala well, will be there. Nigerian. And that, 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 that boy, this, your happiness. Yeah. Your happiness is not tied to her. She's lived her life, so you have to Yeah, but your then life. you want your parents' blessings as well at the same time. Well, not, it's not every time you're going to get it. Sometimes you might not I be... You, your parents may not agree with you and you have to live your life. Are you going to put your life on hold? You're not you going right. to put your life on hold because you're waiting for your parents to bless you. There are some parents that are evil. They are, will not bless you because they want you to do things exactly the way they want so what will you now do? Put your own life on hold because your parents say, no, I have to do it. If you have tried to talk, if you have tried to explain, if you have tried everything possible and they keep saying no, guess what? People, There are people who live their life quietly. Their parents did not know when they got married and how many children they have. It took years later before the parents came and they settled the matter. <laughs> Leave that thing. It's only if you're not ready to live your life oh, and you're waiting for blessing yeah, from somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. So you Bianca have to be... Story. I'm sorry. Say that Bianca again. Story. Which Bianca is that one? <laughs> Bianca, Bianca who? Story. Bianca Ojuku. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. When she married uh, Ojuku, her parents did not... Exactly. Do you understand? What you... Oh, so there's this lady in my country from the eastern part of Nigeria. Um, yeah. She got married to um, um, Odumego Ojuku. Odumego Ojuku is a well-respected uh, man in the eastern part of Nigeria. During the Biafran War, he was like the leader of a Biafran group at the time. So um, there was a friend, he had a friend who had a daughter. I think she, Bianca was Miss Nigeria at one time, right? Or was she second runner up? I can't remember. So she met the friends, she saw the friend's daughter and fell in love with her and insisted and wanted to marry her. But her parents refused because she was very young. I think she was in her 20s, right? She was very young and her parents refused. But she went ahead and she got married to the man. The man was much older than her. I think he was in his 60s when he married her, right? But he married her and the man treated her like a, like a, like a queen mm. all day, every day. I mean, so... At the end of the day, the parents, even though she didn't get any of their blessings, eventually, I think they came around. Oh, you know, yeah, I you can I want to answer that question, Celine uh, Empire, the last one. Okay. If I may okay. ask how it's dating out of your community or whatever. Uh, okay. The last question she posed. Let me yeah. see. If I may ask, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. That, um, Go I ahead. Ask, I want to reply to that because I think she's referring to me. Love, Our love. community is like this. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Omoye? Hello? I can hear you, love, love. Oh, okay. It's Omoye who's cut off then, maybe. Yeah. Can you um, hear I us now? Yeah, well, I can hear you guys. Uh, uh, this is why I say that, you know, it's good to mingle, you know, with different people from different uh, um, countries of the world. Like, you know, you guys are far, far there up, no, kind of like north, you know, west or whatever. But we are mm -hmm. south, south, south. And getting, you know, living, getting to live with you guys, I've learned so much. So, like to us, um, uh, you can date somebody for even seven years and they still marry you or it breaks up. It doesn't matter. You can date yeah. somebody 
after a year and then they marry you and then you break up. It doesn't matter. So that's how our community is. It doesn't mean that like you can date somebody for after a, a year or two years and then they marry you or they don't marry you. you it, to us, that doesn't really matter. But then when I started living amongst Nigerians, then it started making sense to me like the way you guys do it. Like why would somebody date me for two years and they've not made up their mind yet? Two you years know? is too long. One exactly. within or even six one months, year. Six yeah, they months. Should know what want. They already a man always knows what he wants from the exactly. job. Don't yeah. believe the BS. A man yeah. or because men are practical, men are solution focused. You see, when, when exactly. women are busy pouring out their emotions and their women take time to get to their points. Men already yeah. have arrived at that point. So if you understand this, you already know that a man knows. A man know that knows what he wants. He already yeah. knows when he sees you. We had yeah. somebody calling, was it Egosa? Egosa called in uh, with the, the last live that we did. And he said, when we asked him, we were berating him because he had dated this lady for like seven years or so, but she was in med school and blah, blah, blah. So we're like berating, like, how come seven years? What? That's an anniversary, blah, blah, blah. So he came on to ex explain, you know, and all of that. So I asked him, we asked him, I asked him this question. I'm like, Men, and he agreed with me, that men know what they want when they see it. It is no, no lies detected. Once a man sees you, he knows whether you are booty call. He knows whether it's, it's just that one night that is going to happen. He knows how long he's going to be with you. He already knows that you're vulnerable and where you're vulnerable. Men are, you see, we have intuition. Men also have their own. Men That's can walk saying. into a room. Where I they come will know. From where we I will come know from. exactly. Because I'm, let me just I'm make to... this point, love, love. Okay, let yeah. me make this point and then I'll let you speak. Yeah. So once they come into him, they already know. They've already like in their head, figure out pa, 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 like a computer. The one yeah. that they want to be with, they already know. And they don't waste time with that one. But you would, that just want to have good time. They will give you good time. You want good time? They will. And Nigerian men are very good at it. They will take you to the high of the high. You'll be swimming. You'll be saying, this is the enjoyment too. Oh, I don't want you to stop. Good at that. The <laughs> day they drop the you, I'm you be going to like say na trailer na in na in jam yeah. you. you know, but then so. where, where I come from, a man can date you three years, two years, and still marry you. A man can date you one year, three, and still marry you. So when you come to you know to two different cultures, like me, I've mingled with Nigerians a lot. Then I'm like. You know, I know the Nigerian way of marrying is this, it, it, it's, you know, is the perfect way. But then another thing is like, you guys are pressurized too much to get married. And then at the end of the day, they will marry you and then they will go and drop you in the house and then they will do whatever they still want to do because they just want to fulfill their, their parents' wish. Exactly. Wishes, if you get what I mean. Exactly. Yeah. But then where, where, where I come from, your man will be your you know, your, your friend, your, 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 your girlfriend, you will be his friend, his side chick, you know, his, his girlfriend, his wife, at, at, you know, at, you know, in one as well, you go out together. He will not just marry you and drop you. And, you know, of course there are some who does that, but like, you know, so I'm like, sometimes you're just confused, but like you said, Omoye, I totally got that. That's what I, you know, I get as well. Like when you, when you know what you want, then you know what you want. Stick to it. Whether he dates you one year, exactly. and then you decide after six months, after six, you have to know what you want. You know but exactly. Yeah, your society, you know? our society, is different because I even say, I've never seen when I tell people from Nigeria stories like where I come from. People, many children do not have fathers. They they are like, what do you mean? That's that's just normal. Many people have not grown with fathers, then that's normal. Many people have mm. been given different fathers, that's normal. And then when I hear in Nigeria as well, they say, oh, no, our fathers marry our mother. And then people, then there are comments who say it's like, oh, in Nigeria, if they have to be test, um, or DNA test in marriages, many marriages will break up. And then you are like, oh, my God, I'm confused. Where do I follow now? Like, of course, I'm an adult. I know what I want. But like, right. many, you, you can't just, there's no really... You know, and well, for that, yes. with regards to that, you know, that when they do DNA tests, many marriages will collapse. This is the reason why they say that. Because a lot of times, to this point, we're talking about people rushing to get marriage and just pressure That's to get sick. married. Some people have been, maybe they, they had a boyfriend prior, 
but the boyfriend was not ready to commit because of the pressure, right? They see someone who says, oh, I want to marry you. I don't want to date you, da, 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 da. And they get married to the person. They don't realize that they're already pregnant. But by the time they realize it, right, they're already married to this person. So they won't say anything. So they will exactly. act around whatever it is. This is why they're saying that, because of the result of the pressure. So yeah, but, every, but in Nigeria, there's too much pressure, I think. Your parents, there by the is time too you much pressure. That's eight. what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're and talking about. It's like, yeah. Everybody's like, oh, where's your boyfriend? Oh, where's your, where's your, why are you not bringing anybody at home? But where we come from is like, no, you don't. But then I understand it's a good way because why would you want your daughter to be dating different, different men, different men, not bringing anybody home, you know, or, you know, settling down? So, so somebody is asking where you're from, love, love. I think you said South Africa, right? Yeah, I'm from Namibia. Femi Bash, she's from South Africa. She has a beautiful accent, actually. Namibia. Namibia, okay, Namibia, okay. She's from Namibia. Yeah, same, really, same, Botswana, Namibia, same tradition, same food, same everything. Exactly, right? So yeah, that, that's why we're talking about this pressure thing because it's too it's 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 making people make wrong choices, wrong decisions because they're pressured. So they feel constrained, they feel time constrained. They're like, oh, I gotta get married by such a time, I gotta be married, I gotta. So you end up because we forget that everybody has their time for these things to come to them. Nobody's mm -hmm. time is the same. Everybody's time is not gonna be the same. I mean, Rita Dominic just got married at 40 something. Nobody has, there's nobody that has a, a book that says, oh, by so so so. so no, there's you, no yardstick for measuring it. Yeah. And then you, you know? see, this is why when cultures meet, meet up, like, okay, let's say now we came from, I come from Namibia, and then I meet a Nigerian guy, we meet in London, we are students or whatever, we meet up for the first time and whatever, you know, we get to start dating. I will use the dating type that I know from, you know, from where I grew up, isn't it? They will use their dating type. This is why I think that they always end up like sometimes, you know, taking advantage of, of, of you know, women like that from the South, because they will be like, oh, okay. Where I come from, women do this, do this. Oh, where they come from, women do this, you know. But then at the end of the day, you know, it comes to, to like, oh my, you know, you just said, like, you have to know what you want. But to us, it's like, I can date a guy for three years and still marry me. But to you guys, it's like, you can't date me for six months and still not marry me, you know, or one year or two years, whatever, you know. So it kind of like cl clashes and then it... it they kind of like think that, oh, South African women are easy. South African, but it's not like that. It's because we, we can date for three years, two years, and it's still normal. Yeah, but guess what, though? So when Nigerian men go and do that, when they come back to Nigerian women, for instance, they're expecting yeah. the same treatment that maybe they had with a South African woman or with a different woman that they've been with for the Nigerian woman to be like that, knowing that it's not going to happen because we have different upbringing we have we're exactly. wired differently you're coming yeah. to me you we have to come correct to you're not i mean come what do you what do you want you can't just come to me and then we'll just be holding we'll just be keeping each other keeping each other's bed warm why i can warm my bed and sleep and i'll be because okay. of the I way you are brought you up Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But then when they yeah. come after dating outside, they want to come and sometimes impose those types, you know, on they? you. They, you know, they want you to be like that South African woman that they dated. Do they? That really? would be okay. Be, yes, it happens, honey. Yeah, that's why. They want you to be, but you can't be that person because that's not who you are. That's not how you were brought up. So sometimes yeah. you hear people say, you go outside, you come, you want me to, I can't. You understand? Then people will be placing unnecessary demands on their partners, you know? So it's oh, all... Oh, yeah, I, will, I, will... I want to suggest, like, if you can really um, watch this um, lady, you know, when you've got time, so that you can come and discuss it here. It's a very important topic, and I always wanted to hear from you or, or Bodo Ibo TV. Um, it's um, Peli... What is it? Peli Things? Who's that? Peli... 
Pelly sings jazz. It's a, it's a, I think she's American or English or whatever. Put it in a, put it in a private chat. Put the type yeah, they in a private talk, chat. They always, they always talk about um, women have got no value as long as you are over twenty five and they kind oh, of. Oh, I like, don't listen to, I don't listen to stuff like that. To I, Tate, to Tate I don't listen to stuff like that. I do not oh, listen okay, to stuff. Fine, I'm very, very selective about what I listen and what I let oh, into my okay. subconscious. I just wanted to like, you know, find Yeah. You know, I just wanted to hear your perspective and all that. My perspective on that is there's no way. A, a woman always has value, regardless of what age you are. You always have, you have to hold on to that and remember that. Mm. There's a song that Arisa Franklin sang. And it says, girl, you're still a flower. They might step on you, break your heart, do whatever. You still are a flower. Do you understand what you are as a woman? You are the creator of nations. Without you, nations will not be, will not have nations, won't have communities. Without a woman, think about that for a moment. Do you understand the power you have as a woman? Do you know what your body represents as a woman? Why is it that the whole world is running after you, trying to make their women look like your body? Oh, Please. Cynthia, that's what they are saying. They are saying that whenever you are over 25, listen to many many of the podcasts. I listen to it every day. Whenever you are over 25 or whatever, then you are like, you, you, you are not, how can it, your value drops. If you, and if you don't have a child or something like that, go and, and listen to it very carefully. I'm not interested because those are people yeah. that are negative, no, that are set in their ways and have decided to write themselves up. Because yeah. I I never seem, I don't, my value, in fact, has doubled. My value is times 100. It, will, it is 25, like multiply that by 100. That's what my value is right now. So there's Maybe. nobody that can come and tell Wait. me what my value Maybe it's is. Not a- men it's not against men it's a like women we, we are to be blamed of course is it the discussion is not all about we are we are blaming men i'm actually talking you know all over it's got I'm nothing blaming to men as well it doesn't matter yeah. who is we are blaming that's both this. gender it both doesn't gender matter who are at wrong yeah yeah it doesn't matter though because when you listen to stuff like that it will go in your subconscious and it will bring you down when you least expect you have to be careful who you it's like when Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels was a thing at one time where he would size oh, women yeah. up by the they numbers. Oh, you are at best a four, you are at best a two. And I used to wonder why are these women calling in and having this man put a number on them, another human exactly. being that is here today, gone tomorrow. Come and tell you because by the time you are whatever age, you cannot pro uh, procreate anymore your chances become lesser and lesser and i'm like there are so many women in their 30s in their 40s having babies but, but there, are many women, there are many women there are many women that don't want to have children how about that and they're that's okay with life is selfish that's not that's not being selfish that's choosing what you want for your life there are men too that are not married and don't even want children how about that so, look, everybody has a right to live their life the way they want to live it. For me, I do not pay attention to people who would tell me that I'm less than. And then you she's got you? Of like bringing up statistics. Oh, 95% of women are the ones who are living marriages. I'm like, why are they living marriages? Oh, it doesn't well, matter. Well, Lola, uh, love, love. Let me, just, let, me just put, <laughs> let me just tell you there, I, I, and I'm not going to say more to that. If yeah, I were sure. you, I would refrain from watching those types of shows. You're a uh-huh. woman. You want to put value on yourself. You don't want anything that's going to take away value from you. Because guess what? The women that are, that are uh, um, getting married, however age that they're, they're getting married in, they're not different from you. They don't have two heads, right? You have to put value. If you don't put value in, on yourself, how will a man value you? How? How will another human being? Forget about a man now. If you don't put value on yourself, if you don't value yourself, you don't have the self-esteem and the confidence, your friends, not even man now, will step all over you. Do you know that? They will treat you like a doormat. So if you don't put value on yourself and you put and you pay attention to things, to people who are just people, they're just 
flesh and blood. And by the way, they don't have perfect lives. If you listen, if you pay attention, or if you find out what's going on behind, in their own lives, you'll be shocked that they don't even have it figured out. So why would you listen to a human being who has not created a human being, does not know what a human being entails, to tell you that when you get to a certain age, who created age? They were in the, have we forgotten there was a time where there were no birth certificates? People did not know their age. There was oh, yeah. a time people did That's not could point. not tell their age. So what are we talking about? So for me, to that, I don't I don't even want to entertain it on this my platform because oh, for me it's about yeah forward mm -hmm. forward there's no good thing about it you can marry at whatever age and you can give birth at whatever age it just depends on how your body framework is it's just that simple there are people that are getting that are giving birth to children in their 50s way into their 60s there are people who also choose not to have children and there's nothing wrong with that so each person has to choose their path if you allow what people say and how people uh, uh, describe or want to put you in a box then you're going to live in that box and you never come out of it and then you end up being with someone who who does not value you who would abuse you because they already know oh, this person is coming after me because they want to have babies because oh i'm the only they are the only one that can solve their problem Matter of fact, they should be grateful to me for the rest of their lives because I made myself available for them to be with. That's BS. Why would you give another human being that kind of power over you when they are not good? Ha! Huh. No, I beg me. I don't, saying, that I don't kind of agree thing. with someone having a baby at 50, 60. Is that, is that fair to the child? Because you don't want to be taking your child to daycare. At That's 74. their choice. Who are you to determine? That's their choice. You don't get to choose that. If you want to have a baby at 25, go oh, run ahead and do it. That doesn't mean anything. If you don't want to, there are people, by the way, who got married at 20 at 19, could not have children 30 years after. Amen. What do you say to Thank that? You. So exactly. please, nobody, nobody can Send put a yardstick. You always call in. <laughs> nobody can put a yardstick on your life unless you want them to. And you have to care. You have to be careful what you let people feed you with, because what people feed you will go and stay in your subconscious and play out. And when you start to act out, you'll be wondering where it's coming from. It's because of what That's you've what heard, happening. what you have allowed into you. You're right. You know. And um, next is yes, make sure the person is an addition to your life, not someone that will change the course of your life for the worse. And it's happening. It's happening because people are choosing to rush in and go and hit a brick wall in the process you know mm -hmm. namibia is a beautiful place chidima says uh cynthia says i think for women time is more valuable for us because biologically we don't have time especially if you want kids that's for those who want kids the people who don't want kids and i know there are advances in science but realistically how many women are financially prepared to freeze their eggs in their prime and have a child uh, in their 50s if at all well, it's for those who are bothered by those things. There are people who still are carrying children. Normally, there's no problem with our IVF and they are giving birth. They are even as living people who had children in their early 20s, 19, and they are living till 100. So what are we talking about? We're not the creator. The problem is that as people sometimes want to play God. That's the problem. I want to draw and draw yards and draw lines for people, you know? That's not what they're saying. Oh, yeah. No worries at all. Oh, love, love. Thank you for your contribution. Anyway. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, We're learn. always learning. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your take. I really, really appreciate you no, so no, much. No. Yeah. How do I take leave? care. Oh. Have a great night. Uh huh. So, um, exactly, man. I don't even know those man. I only listen to all those people. Uh, the, this, this discussion seems to be skewed against the men. What about the ladies? They play a major. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Femi, I mean, it's not. It's it's on both sides. I'm talking about pressure on the sides of the women and the side of the men too. Men get pressure too, but their pressure doesn't start until they're thirty. In some cases, right? And some sometimes they don't even get pressure at all, right? We can agree that the women get more pressure. That's why you see some woman, you break her heart. You say, "No, Femi, don't leave me, please. You are my only hope." I'm sure you've had that. Somebody tell you that before. <laughs> 
uh, they want to use some virginity. Ah, okay, Cynthia, that's what they are looking for. Good luck to them. Oh. They will find it. Sometimes they say Nigerian ladies are too uptight comparing us to women from other parts of the world. No, exactly, Chidema. Thank you very much. They keep, they want to come. After going out, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. People like what they like. I don't hold anybody against it, right? But don't go and have that taste and you want to now subject your people to the same thing. No, it doesn't work like that, you know? You know? So, <laughs> even at 100, your value never drops. Exactly. It's not every. Thank you, precious Isiguzo. Thank you. It's not everything you listen to. There are things you just don't allow into your subconscious. No matter how tempting, no matter what the English they are speaking, just don't listen to it. Anything that devalues you, anything that de degrades you, or this, that's tending to switch off. There's so many channels. Switch it off. Look for something instead that will build you to be stronger for the future. We are looking to the future. We're not looking to the past. So why would you want someone to break you and make you feel less than, you know, and, and, and you know, clip all the wings just because you are standing firm in your truth? Don't stay away from such uh, um, shows, please. Uh, watch movie on YouTube, wife and mother. Oh, dear, are you still here? <laughs> I see your comments. I am. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I they see your comments, but I can't I'm, I'm learning. You. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's demoralizing, you know. Uh, but I, I like to listen to different opinions so I can have a well-rounded, okay. And that channel is putting pressure. Exactly. Putting pressure on people. So the ones who go past 25, now me they go jump, enter third mainland bridge. Abby, when they don't pass 25, they go go jump, enter third mainland bridge. Ah, I beg go avoid the channel by all means. So the funniest part is men who share such ideas usually don't always have much to offer. It's always strictness. Let me tell you, let me let me just tell you guys for free. Mm -hmm. And I know we have real men on here. The, re the real men, men when they be men, when they be busy, they try to figure out how their future will look like. They don't get time for all this conversation. I'm telling you, for their, when we even they get some of these conversations, they wonder, say, where are these people getting these ideas from? Where are these people? Where, what kind of opinion is this? They don't share the opinion that most of these other men that are very that are that are angry because they cannot get a girl that they want most of them because one girl may when maybe they like no grief for them they will just turn bitter most men don't have that time the real men do not have that time i don't tell no person when no be real man person when they engage in that kind of conversation when they talk to you about once you reach 25 you know say that's a no-go area why would you want to waste your time with that kind of person what, how do you convince him? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Ah. Exactly. You know, Femi, Femi Bash, for instance, the real man, man. I happen to know Femi from different platforms. Real man, main man, gracious greatness, Bio, brother Paul. They don't, when you, they, they hear people, they talk, they wonder, how is this? Even my own brothers. Sometimes I have conversations with them. They, they cannot, they don't even understand. They'll be like, where are you? What kind of nonsense talk is that? Because it does not, it doesn't mean anything to them. That's not what they place their value on. <laughs> People go, they act like, say, they'll be God. Now you be God. Now you create the test thing. Now you create time. You know, you a person go, uh, at the age of 19, the person born, next thing, the person buy after he born. How you want to explain that one? But another woman go born, he go born at the age of 40, 50, 60, 10, and he go live to 100. Please explain it if you can. Human beings, when they try to act like say we know past the creator, that will be the problem. We go, they use our life till they measure other people. Own. Or if we not use our life, measure them, we go, they use other people's life till they measure them. Who you? What do you know? You feel create human beings. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm very careful though when I when I talk about these things that I don't condemn. I don't see. I never. I always place value on people. I place value on myself, and I place value on people. Now the value when I place place on you, if you diminish and that's it, that's the end. You know, we have to, as a man or a woman, put value on yourself. Do you know that men, when they really know what's in what's up, they don't have time. They day one corner, they, they figure out how their future won't be. That's what they are doing. They are figuring out how their future is going to look like. Eh? Meanwhile, the noise makers, when they make a lot of noise, people they hear. I mean, come on. We need to do better. Nobody, that no. See, nobody wholly pass. Even those people, when they, they do all those things, they cast each other, cast man. They talk about men or women. They themselves, they are not perfect. If we go put magnifying glass for their life, we go see many, many microscopic organisms in their, in their, in their wardrobe. Mm. Ah, no, I beg. No, precious, absolutely. I'm not entertaining you because I don't have time for it. Anything that's going to bring anybody down, no, that's like taking away from a person. Why would you want to do that? Put value on yourself and add tax. It is the value you place on yourself. That's what people would notice. People would respect you based on that. If you don't put any value, people will not go right. They will talk to you anyhow. They will match you, match your head, join. Ah, no, I beg. Hmm. Eh, it's not fair. Who, 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 who is to determine if it's fair or if it's not fair? What if that's the card that life that dealt them? What if it's the plan of the creator? You don't know that. I don't know that. You don't. Nobody knows. I don't think anybody will intentionally say, oh, yeah, oh, let me just wait till when I'm 60 and then I'll have no. But we don't have a right if they have the baby or wherever they choose to have their baby. We don't have a right to say, is it really fair? Who am I? Who are you to say whether it is fair or it's not fair? Who are we to say that? So for the Christians in the home, Sarah was what, 90 something. Okay, are we not going to say, is it fair? No, we are not, see, we are not the creator. We are not the center that holds anything. So we don't have a right. We don't have, we don't get stay for this matter. There are people who have babies young and are no more. There are people who had babies old and are no more. There are people still that had babies young that are still strong, and those that are, are baby late, babies late and are still strong and striving in their lives. Who is to question the center? Who, is to, who can question the creator about the exactly. way he chooses to dish out what he wants to give you? So because the you become, you married, have a... Yeah. The people that married you, early and had three kids and lost all three later on in you. life. Exactly. God forbid bad thing. It happens. Amen. Or the one or the ones when we say they they, they don't even see at all. They marry 18, 19, some 25. They no see born until they be 60. Now you see they choose them, they not choose them. Not only the creator no as he say they dish out, waiting he won't give people. Waiting he give you, nothing be the same, waiting go give the next person. Because everybody stands out on their own. Ah, oh, I beg. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, love, love. You know, people are saying, be careful what you listen to. I quite agree with, with that. Yeah. No, absolutely. So, I mean, back on the topic. Yeah, right. You're you're right. Fast forward. Let's fast on the topic. Exactly. Right. Pressure. Don't let anybody pressure you. That's all I'm going to say. Never let anybody. Don't put pressure on yourself because the pressure you put on yourself is even worse than the ones people put on you. Do not put pressure on yourself so you don't miss the real thing. Because when you put pressure on yourself, yeah, you have, there's a tendency of missing, missing out on the real thing. And the real thing is not loud most of the time. So please, this life is not worth it. There are people who have put pressure on themselves, hurried, did everything, only to buy at the end. There are no more. Now that thing when they rush, enter, they can buy them in the end. 
of what you use was the Russian. The best thing now uh, are you ask yourself, find your peace. That are the first thing you need to do. Find your peace. And what, whatever you're doing, do you have, ask yourself, do I have peace here? Do I have peace? Do I feel peace where I am? Always find the place of peace. That's where your answer it will be. It's all, your answer always resides in the place of peace. Hmm? Find that place first. There's nothing that is worth rushing. The creator that created you knows the exact time that he has decided he's going to give it to you. If you run ahead, anything where you see, you take up. You have to be completely surrendered. I know that sometimes this might be, you know, superfluous as in, ah, what's she saying? But this is what I know. So if you they hurry, where you they hurry, they go. If the creator does not give you things in a hurry, you don't, you never notice that. Think, consider, think that. The God, when he creates you, know they give you things in a hurry. Well, why you they hurry? Where you they hurry, they go. Now you create yourself. Now you create the time. Now you know how you take no, whether you will sleep today, tomorrow, the person go away. You don't know that. So why are you in a hole? Where you they rush, they go. Sometimes you go rush, waiting there for your Sokoto, you go to the final for Sokoto, for Sokoto, because you they rush. But when you sit down, you breathe, you get opportunity to think, you come realize, ah, wait to. Oh. That person makes sense. So, ah, no, no, no. I like what they hear. here. Make I talk to this person more. But when you they rush, not only flashy, flashy things you go, they see. You go, they, and the person go, they tell you everything when you want here. Fast, fast. You know, go, no, say, a shadow of the original, you they see. You know, say, as original day, na so carbon copy day, una no. So, if you are looking for that thing, there's a carbon copy of that thing that's waiting to this. To, to distract you. So if you are not careful and you're in a rush, you will end up with carbon copy. Eh? You know, some of we, I mean, when we they careful, what do we they look for for this life? This life, na jeje, no amount of rushing will save you from anything. If you understand, you understand. If you don't understand, I don't need it to do. Eh? From what's accumulated in the heart, the mouth speaks. Beware of exactly, right? Pressure is more on the women. Absolutely. Love, love. Beware of what you listen to. Absolutely. You know? Because at the end of the day, this life is what you, it's, it's, Life is, you know, life is to be enjoyed. You know, life is simple. Now, we they make it hard, though. We are the ones. Who, now, we be the problem. Human beings, now, be the problem for this world. Because we're always waiting our hand no it. We won't go drag that. In the process of trying to drag it, you go and carry garbage enter inside house. Call them husband. Call them wife. Unto what? It don't make sense, my people. It better make you make your mind there at peace, make your energy complete than for you to go and end up in a situation where your energy is scattered all over. You know, go if you can gather yourself again. Before you gather yourself, you, you don't walk out far. Sometimes you go, don't give up on life completely because you can't seem to find your way anymore. You know. <laughs> when you meet a man, your feet will be dancing on the floor. We still have them. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you be real man to a feeling. Okay. <laughs> you see, huh? we met there are many for you. They tell them now. You see, men did this conversation. Now they now they observe the men comments. Now they observe the men comments for the comment session. That's all we they talk. This the men them know. Because men are very strategic and logical. They're not be like us. Oh, we emotion, emotion. Oh, oh, <laughs> my heart. We'll first talk story of one hour before we reach where we want. Before we talk the reading, we'll first talk story of how the may take it to the floor. Before we talk the, the men already have it 
they don't already know. Eh? Now, then they may come in session now. If anything, when they talk now, lie, maybe they talk and maybe they, they go tell me for years, say, no, I'm not be so. Eh? I want to tip in one last point. I bet my sister go ahead. Um, I really bad on you this evening. Thank when, you for co-hosting. Uh, but, 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 but I'll be plenty now today. At least today is not confession night. <laughs> I wanted to uh, I wanted to I wanted to say um in the process of trying to date, you know, I just wanted to chip this point in that um if we're gonna break up for any reason, let's try. I know it's gonna be very difficult, but we should not date and leave people damaged. In such a way that when you break, like breaking their hearts, there's no relationship that can easily be broken in the nicest way because it's still a rejection in a way. You find that there are so many damaged people out there who have made up their mind never to date again or never to marry. And if you're dating someone and you need to break up with them, try to do it in the nicest of way. I know it, it sounds weird, but you find out that when you leave someone damaged or broken, somebody else is still coming to date that person. So you find that the thing goes round and round and you just find out that there's a large population of damaged people. I'm using the word damaged because broken people, people who do not want to even attempt to date again because of their past experience, not to talk of marriage, so that's another aspect of, okay, you're not being pressurized. You've made up your mind not to marry because of some experience or the other. Try to end relationships in the best way possible. If you can, try your best because there are too many damaged people out there. They've been traumatized either from marriage, people who have been married who have attempted marrying and then they're now out of it because of some form of trauma. Also in dating, when you're dating, you shouldn't like I don't know. I don't am I making sense somewhere? Absolutely. No, you're yeah. making yeah, you're don't making leave sense. someone worse than you met them. Yes. You know? That that's why it's good not to date for too long. After yes. six months, if the man is not that's saying if, we're not saying get married after six months, but mm -hmm. at least know where you're going, have a plan. Bam. Okay, let's That's achieve it. this. Let's achieve this by this time. Let's try and do this. Let's try. But if after six months the man is not healthy and the woman to sit down for this, you know, then the, there's a problem. You need to know by six by the by the six months you should be able to know where you're going. Have a plan. And if it's not going to work out, try and end it there and then. Like, okay, let's you know let's go separate ways. You know, let let's not build too much feelings and sentiments and then he starts blaming oh you should have told me or you wasted my time and then you know it just go goes on and on and there's scars and trauma and then it just goes around because somebody else is still going to date that person you've left and somebody else is, is going to want to marry somebody and the person lives on with all those scars you know exactly you no know, you know this point that you just made Ojimwa You've just nailed it. You know, let me tell you something. This is why when somebody meets, when you meet, when two people meet each other, the man, because now the man, I propose, I don't care what the world says. Now the man, they propose, he already knows what he wants. So the your short hunter. date, exactly, now the hunter. So the short date with that man already don't. That's why long time, long term relationships are to be discouraged. Because when you have long-term relationships, feelings are now interwoven. It becomes complex. So when there's a breakup, sometimes it is inevitable that two, the two people will just, you know, say terrible things to each other and break up in the most traumatic way. Because of the long dating, there's no need for it. It's better for you to say, okay, you know what? I don't, you know, you're a great person, whatever, however way you need to say it, right? This Say it in the nicest way. Wash your hands. Save most of your emotions and move forward. 
the reason why people have all these traumas right now is because of long dating experiences. If you notice, people, when they don't marry for years and years, when they leave that marriage, most of the women, most times, they know they won't marry again because of the trauma from the married, previous marriage. They could just focus on all the, their children only. Some of the men do the same thing because maybe they've been, they, they've, they've been dealt with by their spouse, their, their wives. They know what if they had them to marry again. They feel they too, right? It could take so much for them to decide, okay, yeah, I want to give this a second go. You understand? For example, Idris Elba, for instance, he was married before. It took him a while to settle down. When did he get married? Recently. Wasn't it two or three years ago that he got married here? He said, in one of his interviews, he said he had lost all hope. He never thought that he was going to find anything. What's love? He didn't think he was ever going to find it. When he met this girl, guess what? He said the girl gave him reason to love again. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can imagine, and they've been dating for a while before they got married. So you can imagine the baggage when Idris Elba carry entered that relationship, when the woman will need to patiently come through, come through for her. Maybe he had to go to therapy as well. We need to be careful as human beings. What goes around comes around. If you know, say, you no know, want enter with this person, Cut your off your losses on time and move on. There will always be beautiful women. The beautiful ones are not yet born. It will always happen every year. The ones that they find past, they never still born them. Move on. Cut your losses and move on. All this back and forth, you are going through doors, coming back from uh, the past one door to another door to another. All to what? All to what exactly? Onto what? In the process, you're just you're just um, throwing away all the good energy about you. You're just displacing it. Your 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 the energy is all scattered everywhere. You can't put it all together because you being whole is very important. Because right. when you're whole, you can fulfill your purpose. You can focus on your goals. You can achieve. You can build castles if you want to. This is why I don't, people don't, people that don't understand that, you know, having multiple partners is a very dangerous, dangerous thing. There are a lot of people, there's some people who don't understand that. There are a lot of people who don't understand that. They think that when you're saying that, I don't know, this whole modern way of thinking that, ah, beggy, this one, that one. No, you're having multiple partners. Imagine the doors you're opening in the energy level, energy space, you're scattered. So all the energy, when you for say do better thing for your life, you are scattering it all over. Multi people could get up. And mind you, those people when you they when you they when you they share bed with, they themselves have been with partners too. So the ones that they be, they don't deal with plus the one you don't deal with plus ah. Man, this life deep passes with a thing come on. A deep, I beg, my people. Take your time. Find if the thing you know they bring you peace. Wash your hand. Waka komot. Peace now your answer. You don't need any soothsayer to tell you. If man they come your life, you no come with peace. Run. Run. No say no, he's a crazy person. Don't mind him. He acts like that, but I love him anyway. Or more run. If a woman is coming to you and she's not bringing you peace, please run. It's not worth it. It's not about money. It's not about physical looks. Money, person, if you make money, if you are hard working, if you know how to work, you know what you want to do. If you have business, you want to do whatever. The money will come. It's just a matter of time. This money, when we de- everybody they rush, people they lose their every day. They, they lose their soul on top of money. I want to secure the bag. I want to secure the bag. You go and be signing contracts that you don't know. It involves you giving away your life. Eh? We need to be careful, though. The life, the times that we're in now is a very, 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 very important time in history. We got to be careful. You know, don't let anybody pressure you. Take your time. 
as long as you're at peace, that's what you need. That's what should be more important to you. Whatever needs to happen, the creator will make it happen when the time. See, in everything, there's a time. There's a time for you to be born. And that time happened and you were born. There's a time for you to grow. There's a time when you'll be drinking only milk, milk, milk. There's a time when you have to graduate to bush meat. I mean, you think you're going to be drinking milk your whole life. No, it doesn't work like that. Think about it. Everything has its purpose. When you plant a seed, it has to die first for it to become a stalk and produce or become a tree and produce food for you. Eh? There's nothing to rush in this life, I beg you. If you meet a man in your, when you're young and the man is a one, I, I know friends who met their husbands when they were 22, 23, and they have the best marriages. Okay, it happens for people like that, right? They have the best marriages. Some of them are divorced. They are bitter today, but they married early. There's some married late. They are also bitter because they rushed it. Eh? But there are also some that are married late and married well, and they are happy. So it just depends on your approach and what you are looking for. Are you looking for short time or are you looking for long time? Choose. It's nothing worth rushing over. Please, my people, take your time. Shine your eye. Look for somebody who has a vision. Look for some. This sounds cliche, but it's the fact. Oh. Look for somebody that has a vision. Money not be everything. No, I'm not making no get money because clearly you are making money. Absolutely. Me, I'm making money. So, of course, I'm not going to go and look for somebody that's not making money at all. That doesn't, is not going to know nothing. It, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay? I'm not saying you should go and suffer with somebody. No. But decide what you want and stick with it. Stick with it. Make sure it works for you because we're all different. Some people want somebody who, you know, they both live in different places. They can get married and say, no, we'll live in different houses. Are you okay with that? They will agree and their marriage is working. Some people don't. They have to cuddle every night and it works for them. Choose what works for you. Don't look for somebody. Don't use your life to measure somebody else's life. Don't, Don't ever. run anybody's race. Don't copy anybody. Exactly. No. Don't. Don't copy, copy. Don't copy, copy. <laughs> Don't, Don't run, run anybody's race. Don't say, mm -mm. oh, somebody else is, oh, I wish my own can be like this person. Exactly. No way. Do you understand? Exactly. You understand? What if they married early and couldn't have kids at a late age? That happens a lot. You know? Heal first, exactly. Before you move into a new relationship, try and heal first. Heal. You know, don't rush into it. Don't say, oh, my God, oh, hey, me and my ex dated 10 years total. Last year, last five years engaged. Oh, my God. Cynthia, I don't know what to say. We're not, let's, I don't want <laughs> to... Five, last five years engaged. Okay. Wow. He was a player. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't ready. Cynthia, that's the point. Idris was not ready. Go on. Go. If you YouTube his interview, his last interview, he was not ready. The guy had lost hope on love. He was not interested. But this girl was, you know, when you love somebody, you love someone. There are people who love and are willing to, you know, help the person get through a hard, you know, through the huddles of relationships or whatever. He was not, he was not ready. He said she made her believe in it again. Hmm. Man. Ah, oh, no, no, no. You know? So let's not let's not look at each other and be running race that we're not uh... Hey, Femi, you were saying you just discovered that you wow. She's 18 months. Wow. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy Femi. That's what I'm going to be calling you now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's not trying to. Honestly, I'm sure Cynthia is not trying to give somebody 10, 5 years. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Uh, Modele, I'm, I'm learning something new these days. I find that some people don't like peace. I decided I'll stay away from so. 
my dear, run. If people don't want peace, run. That's usually a sign. Because what the creator gives you always comes with peace. Peace always accompanies what, what the creator is going to give you. If it does not, if, it's, if it is missing peace, run. That's a sign. Run. Mm. Hey, don't look back, oh, my sister. Just the energy alone you invest in one guy. Thank you. Talk less of two, my sister. Help me. Help me and say it to... <laughs> oh, Philly, you say again? Wisdom of night. <laughs> oh, Jemwa. You don't hear anything that they tell your sister. They say again, wisdom of 90 year old. <laughs> no. Hey. That means I'll be old so now. What do they say know. about old wine? <laughs> old wine tastes best. Okay, well, well, I think I'm as I think I'm as huge compliment. Thank compliment. you. Now blessing to be 90 and have that have wisdom. Oh, my sister, my brother, thank you very much. <laughs> Exactly. Ability to you think outside the box. Yes, absolutely. Mirabel, hell no, I was younger. He was coming. He was took exactly. Never again. Cynthia, I trust you. You are a Nigerian girl inside, inside. Don't allow any person to come and collect a use a bar to collect your goosey soup. Mm. One partner is hard enough. How much more multiple people are this? I'm telling you, I don't know how people do it too. I'm telling you. Congratulations, Femi. That's so precious. Daddy, Daddy Femi. Hey, should you be calling you Daddy? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Femi, tell us whether you want the name. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, she's now, she has moved. She has moved on to her true self. I won't say to, yep. Uh, Set your own timeline. Exactly, Cynthia. Please, say it loud for the people in the back. Set your own timeline. Don't let anybody set timeline for you. Now you know what you they look for. You know what you're looking for. So set your own timeline. Don't let society, your parents, peer pressure, half of your peers are crying in their marital homes today. I can tell you that for free. Go and look at them again. Some of them, are, they are now like, a, some of them don't even look the same anymore. Some of them are enjoying their marriages. So some of them are really enjoying it. And it's showing, I have, I have a friend. She's always traveling. We know they see her talk to. She and her husband. Today, Paris. Tomorrow, they're in Puerto Rico. Next, tomorrow, they're in, um, what's that place that they do car race? What's that place? People should tell me. There's a place in Europe where they do carries for all these billionaires where they go to. Next time you hear she's there, she's watching the race. On that time, she's in London. On that time, she's in uh, Côte d'Ivoire. They are traveling the entire world. Another time, they are climbing one mountain somewhere. The girl is jollofing. Every we all of us can attest to the jollof. When we see her, oh my God, model lomo. She couldn't find past as we know her before. First of all, we know for school. We know they will say, hey, if they tell us so you feel fine like this, we will say, nah, lie. I'm telling you. Because again, a tomboy that time. But look at her today. You know we believe. Traveling, flying all over. And let me tell you, first class, so not be business. First class. Mm. First class. You won't see her on social media. She does only business on social media. So... She won't post pictures like that. She only share it to her friends. I say, oh, by the way, look at this picture. We will laugh. We will gossip amongst ourselves for dear. We will say, eh, that's so. I'm telling you, people, when they, when they enjoy, guess what? The man loved her for who she was. Loved her totally. Not seen Renee. Eh? I beg. We've seen good marriages. We know what it looks like. We've also seen bad marriages. We know the difference. We know the difference. So be in charge of your own timeline. Very, very important. Eh? How do you successfully call two men, honey? Are they, some people can do it too. They are experts. I don't know how they do it too. Mm -hmm. I don't too. You never successfully do it. You just do it. There can never be any success in being with. I'm telling you. 
I don't know, right? Brother Paul, usually he calls in. Maybe he's busy today. I'm sure he's going to watch this on replay. And then he'll now say, oh, my, please, part two. Okay, we'll wait for him to do that. Or maybe he's listening and just cannot call in at the moment. Yeah. But I will let him know we all miss him next time. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Chidima. Thank you. That's a huge compliment. I thank God to not be by my power, my sister. Eh? Not be by my power. Oh. <laughs> Ophelia, I understand that. I accept them as compliment. That's okay. <laughs> I accept it. It's a compliment. A huge one at that. Oh my God, OJ, thank you very, very much for co-hosting with me. I really appreciate you. And eh? that God will bless you whether you like him or not. According to Brother Paul, I really appreciate you. Call next time, I bet. Come give us this. <laughs> Come and tell us story. <laughs> I really enjoyed your take. Your uh, yours, love, love, and uh, Neka. Neka didn't stay long with us. She ran. <laughs> Mirabel, my forefathers in a young lady's body. <laughs> Mirabel, you have come. You have come again. <laughs> Permission to fall out, no problem. Good night. 122. Yeah, absolutely. I understand. Good night, my love. Thank you very much. We'll go see for another for the next life. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Th Monte Carlo. Thank you very much. Monaco. I'm telling you. I mean, like the girl is enjoying Unja yellow, as in she's chopping, chopping her head. She's chopping her life. She's one way. She's there. Next thing, she's here. She goes for all this um, what's it called? Fashion? Is it the fashion shows? Right? She goes for the fashion shows wherever they have it. She's there. She has front row seats, my people. Front row. <laughs> I mean, leave this thing, leave this thing. Cool, mama. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Exactly. One will be Corey, the other one will be time. Mirabel, take five. Bam, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Femi Bash. Let's see you, God. <laughs> That girl is problematic, man. I don't like my name and her name, and her name in one set, in the same sentence. That girl, I find her very prob problematic. Although some things she says make sense. I have to give that to her. She does make sense sometimes. Not all the time. But I think she, she's troublesome. But some things she says, I can't write her off. She, she does make sense sometimes. At least I've listened to a few of her clips. Mm. Yes, so cool mama, work has taken you away from us. I know, cool mama. We will be they we they miss you for you. Oh. Yeah, brother Paul's contributions are also always very soothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's the one, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm telling you, a story. <laughs> That's what she said today is not for stories. <laughs> she's the one with the boss story that Mirabel was giving a tough time. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, love, love. I really appreciate your uh, contribution. Call in again, no. Don't be a stranger. Absolutely. Okay, love, love is single, no. Any single guys ready to mingle? She's in the UK. She's from Namibia. She has a beautiful accent, and I'm sure she's also a beautiful person. If you want to connect with her, you can uh, reach... Um, um, reach out to me by email and then love, love. You can send me your email so I can let them know also. Mm? So they can connect with you. <laughs> Celine, I beg go. No, it's not me now. Eh? Now God, now they give go. Mm. Oh, cool, mama, you're feeling stressed. Eh, yeah, please take it as you. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Take our music, cool, mama. Be cool. Take our music, please. Yeah. Mm. No problem, Neka. I appreciate you all the same. No, I totally understand. We go leave him here for now. Make the UK people go sleep. Make me safe. Take, take a break. But I really appreciate you all. I really, really do. Thank you so much. Thanks for co-hosting OJ Moi. Please come back with story for us. Mm? Come and tell us story. <laughs> we want to hear story. I beg. Come and share story with us. 
Eh? So, anyway, if you're catching this on replay, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Mona, help me get to 2,000. Because I'm aiming for 2,000. We could have subscribe, we could have like, we could have share, make our community they grow, they go. We could they, in, 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 we could they, we could they share this wisdom with everybody and with ourselves so that we would learn more and more so we can be better, right? One person know they know and finish. I don't know and finish. So, me said they learn as I they talk, me said they learn. Me, I like to learn more than, I they like to listen more than talk. But when, um, I the host. I don't have a choice but to talk. So, guys, permission to fall out. Thank you, Celine. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Good night. I want to stay and chat, but I must go. Oh, I love you, Celine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Easy. Hey. Oh, you're in LA. Okay. I'm in Northern California. Easy. Thanks for joining. Good night, everyone. Love you. We'll see you in my next live. Bye.